Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Marietta Public Schools here for the Ori's Area Championship. This is uh, round one. Brad Cameron, Jim Alderson live here, and we are ready. Lady Mountaineers of Brushy taking on the Lady Raiders of Marietta. Should be interesting this afternoon. Both teams coming here with, with good records. Um, both teams, they, they played each other two weeks ago, and it came down to the wire. Marietta won at the end of the end of the game. This should be a very good game here between the Lady Raiders and the Lady Mountaineers. Jimbo, how's it going over there, buddy? It's going. We'll see number five, Kinley Lasseter, jump for Brushy, and number two, Kaslin Crozier, jump for. Marietta, Marietta in control of the ball. Crozier with the ball outside on the wing. Lady Mountaineers in a man-to-man -man defense. Thomas with the ball up top. Three-pointer on the way, got it. Number three, Ford. First points of the ball game for the Lady Raiders. And we'll see Macy Fields bring it up for Brushy. Jensi Fields going to pull up 26 footer just short. Rebound Harris. Lady Mountaineers reset it up. Woods from the sideline short. Rebound knocked out of bounds off of Lasseter. Excuse me, that'll be off of Marietta. It'll be Brushy ball here. Woods with the ball on the wing over to Fields. Woods for three, no good. Harris with another offensive rebound here. Job in there by Allie Harris, and we're going to whistle here, and we're going to get a foul on number 10, Brassy Thomas. Fields will trigger the inbound here. Over to Woods. Woods handles it. Jensi Fields up top. Skip pass. Good ball movement here from Brushy. Fields drives, kicks. Macy Fields on the baseline. Splits the double team. Back over to Woods. Up top. Fields with a save. Woods will take the three in and out. We're getting it on the back here on number five, Kinley Lasseter. It'll be Marietta basketball. We're having some um, we're having some connection issues here with our internet service, but Andrew is uh, Andrew is going to get it worked out. I have all faith, in Andrew. We're going to whistle here. We're going to get a we're going to get a blocking foul here on the sideline. The basketball will stay with Marietta here. 426 left opening quarter. Three to nothing, Lady Raiders. As Marietta gets it in bounds. Stolen by Harris. Harris gonna get fouled on her drive, and she will go to the line for Brushy. She will shoot two. Actually, it's gonna be on the floor. So it'll be Brushy ball underneath. Foul was on number 10, Thomas, her second. Second team foul. And the ball will be turned over here by the Lady Mountaineers. It'll be Marietta basketball. Well, 
Ford will inbound over to Crozier. Knight with the basketball. Good backcourt pressure here from Brushy. Ford up the court. Walk. We're going to get a traveling violation on Avery Knight, number five, for Marietta. Kenny Littlefield, head coach of the Marietta Lady Raiders, and Patricia McCoy, head coach of the Lady Mountaineers for Brushy. Three-pointer on the way, no good. It'll be out of bounds off of Brushy. It'll be Marietta basketball here. 3.56 left here in the first quarter. Lady Raiders up three to nothing. Well, they shoot it, don't they? Yes, they do. Lady Mountaineers staying in the backcourt pressure. Crozier does a good job getting through it. Thomas, bounce pass. Shots off, rebound Harris. And Harris has got an open court to the rim. No good on the layup. And now we're going to get a whistle here under the bucket. It's going to be Marietta basketball. Foul is going to be on number one, Hadley Woods. Her first. Fields with a steal. And then she will get fouled by number five, Avery Thomas. Fields over to Lasseter. Fields for three, no good. Harris with another offensive rebound. Her third. Four. Four. Four, re Four rebounds. Four rebounds. Jensie Fields comes flying out of nowhere with the rebound, and she's going to get. Oh, she's going to be on the. She's going to be on the baseline. I assume it's going to be out of bounds. It's going to be Marietta basketball. Three sixteen left here, opening quarter. Three to nothing. Lady Raiders with the lead. Crozier, ball stolen. Woods layup, no good. Wow. Crozier with the rebound. Lady Mountaineers staying with this backcourt pressure. And we're going to get a whistle here and a timeout. Marietta. 3-0-1 left here, opening quarter. Marietta 3, Brushy 0. You're watching the best coverage of Ori's basketball there is. CHSN. The Rustic Pearl Wedding and Event Barn is a beautiful venue hidden in the foothills of the Ozarks. It is a perfect place to have your special indoor-outdoor events with a breathtaking and picturesque view. Rustic Pearl is beyond spacious enough to have any event, such as a wedding, King Sarah, family reunion, business meeting, or anniversary. 2020 dates are booking fast, so give them a call at 918-797-4700 for a tour and for more information. Also, look us up on Facebook on our website, rusticpearl.org. I think that's a Ken Sierra. Ken Sierra. It's, it's, it's like the 14th or 15th birthday, I think. I think is it? What is it? I thought that was 15th. a bar, bar, bar mitzvah. No, no, this, this is, this is uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's. I'll, we'll have to, I'll have to Google that and see what that, see what that means. This is I believe Spanish. You, the Ken Sierra. Good pressure here in the backcourt. Crozier up the floor. Pass inside, back out. Thomas gets an open three. No good. Rebound Knight. Her shot off the top of the backboard. And Harris with another rebound. Over to Woods. Woods going to lose it out of bounds. And it's going to be Marietta basketball. Backcourt pressure here. Knight. Dribbling through it, over to Thomas. Thomas, double teamed, good job by the Lady Mountaineers, and Fields will get the steal. Ahead to Harris. Harris to the bucket, got it. 3-2. Brushy's defense is doing their job, Brad. Uh, Fields with the steal. <laughs> Mary. Lady Mountaineer is going to get a timeout here. I think Mariana's only got three shots at the basket in the whole game. Now, turn that around on the other shoe on the other foot. Brushy's got like 15 shots at the basket, you know.
J and K Dump Trucking and Excavation. If you need rock, gravel, or dirt, call Jason Copeland, 918 207 8112. That's J and K Dump Truck Service and Excavation. How's the uh, internet looking, Andrew? Is it, is it? I'd like two, two meg, two, two and a half meg up would be nice. Uh, do, they do they have Wi-Fi here in the facility? Hmm. Lady Mountaineers with the ball here. Woods. Three-pointer, Fields, no good. Rebound number 12, Harley Smith. And the Lady Raiders will bring it up the floor. Over to Knight. Knight ahead. Dribble drive, shot off the glass, no good for Ford. And the Lady Raiders will reset the offense, kicks it out. Knight for three, no good. Long rebound. It's going to be out of bounds, and it's going to stay with Marietta here. With 1.33 left here in the opening quarter. Ford with the ball. Thomas on the drive. So back it out. Crozier thought about it. Didn't take it. Good pressure defense here. It's going to be stolen by Lassiter. Lassiter ahead to Woods. Woods to the, to the rim. Got it. 4-3, Brushy with the lead. And Fields knocks it out of bounds. Jency Fields very active on the defensive end. Yeah, they're de they're, this defensive press is really giving Marietta problems. Brushy with all seventh graders on the floor. And we're going to get a travel here on Thomas. Shot deflected, Harris with a rebound. Woods, the three-pointer, got it. 7-3, Brushy. Over to Knight, Knight. Ball stolen by Fields again. Harris, Lassiter can't get the layup, but she will get fouled on the shot. So number five, Kinley Lassiter will go to the line for Brushy. Boy, Jensen Field, she's all over the court, ain't engine. Yes, she is. Hands on everything. I mean, just in the passing lanes, all over the place. Her shot is off. Coach's daughter. Jim, what do you expect? Yeah, her mama was a good basketball player, too. Yes, she was. So was her dad. Second shot was good. 8-3, Lady Mountaineers. Over to Knight. Knight will bring it up the sideline for Marietta. She's going to get fouled on the drive here. It's going to be on Woods. It's going to be her second personal fourth team foul. So both teams with four team fouls now. Shot, free throw line, no good. Long rebound. Woods comes up with it. She'll push it up the floor. To the rim. Good defense there by Thomas. Under 20 seconds left here. Thomas brings it up the floor. Pull up three-pointer. Off. That'll be out of bounds off of Marietta. It'll be brushy basketball here with 11 seconds left. We'll see uh, number 22 checking into the ball game. That's Jazlyn Harrison for brushy. Fields. Up the floor, going to get. Going to call her out of bounds. Going to be out of bounds over there, right at midcourt. And with 6.8, Marietta will have an opportunity here to get a decent look. Crozier. Thomas thought about it. Crozier, one second. Got it off. No good, just short. End of the first quarter here from Marietta. Ori's area tournament. Lady Mountaineers, eight. Lady Raiders, three. You're watching CHSN, your home for 
junior high basketball. <laughs> Hey, Andrew, RCB Bank is a proud sponsor of Justice Tiawa Athletics, who is here this afternoon. Justice Tiawa will play the Brushy Mountaineers next game, so appreciate RCB Bank. That's my bank. Where's Justice at? Well, honestly, it's not, but, I mean, that's what. Claremore. Wow, they come a long ways, didn't they? Yeah, they sent them. They sent. They made them travel, didn't they? Yeah. They're that team that has to travel. There's yeah. always one of them in, a, in an area tournament yeah. that has to that has to make a trip. Pretty good crowd here for junior high game. Yeah, I, I tell you what, the the night when we came back from Riverside or from Okima, this place when I got here that evening, the place was packed. You guys almost made me late too. That's okay. You you like them ribs you ate that night. Oh man. If we'd stopped and been posting something on that and you wouldn't have stopped with us, you'd been mad at us. Oh yeah. Uh, do what? Yeah. Did I, Toasties. Do I do I post or toast? Good job up there on the camera. Right at midcourt, Terry Qualls. Oh, Terry. We well, uh, we modified the scoreboard this evening also, Andrew did. So we don't have the, the whole screen up across the top of the screen scoreboard. We just got the little box up in the top right corner. So hope you guys enjoy that. And if you like high school basketball, we'll be back on there again Tuesday night. Tuesday from, night. From Tahlequah Sequoia. Is it Morris? Morris. I know two weeks ago the girl, both girls' teams were ranked. Sequoia and Morris play. Three-pointer from the corner. No good. Rebound, Marietta. And, Jim, I was looking at the roster here. Marietta also, all seventh graders. Yeah, that's what Chad said a while ago. So both teams will be in the running again next year. Thomas with the ball up top. Duncan in the ball game now, number 55 for Marietta. Fields to the bucket's going to get fouled on the shot. The foul's going to be on number two, Crozier. Five steals by Jensen Five Fields. Five steals in the ballgame already. By Jensen Fields. Fields at the line. First shot, no good. Second shot is good. 9-3, Lady Mountaineers. Knight with the ball in the backcourt. Lady Mountaineers still with this backcourt pressure. Good job by Lassiter back there. Over to Thomas. Thomas. Knight. Going to take an extra step there. Going to be a traveling violation on Knight. It'll be brushy basketball. Now, is number 10 and... And then number 11, are they sisters? No, cousins. Okay. Stepped on the inbound line or out of bound line. So it'll be Marietta basketball here. Mm -hmm. 4.59 left, second quarter. Ford with the ball, lob pass over to Duncan. Couldn't catch it. Fields comes up with it. She'll push it. Macy Fields, excuse me, Jensie Fields over to Macy Fields. Little zone look here from Marietta. Fields dribbling up top. Over to Lassiter, she'll shoot a three short. Rebound, Knight. Good defense by Jaslyn Harrison. And we're getting a whistle here. We're gonna get a blocking foul on Fields. And we'll see Andrea Ford go to the Go to the, no, she won't go to the line. She'll it'll be out of bounds. Sixteen fouls. Ford shot inside, no good. Nice rebound, put back, no good. And 
Harrison with a good, strong rebound inside for the Lady Mountaineers. We'll get a whistle here, and we'll get a foul in the backcourt on number five, Avery Knight from Marietta. Nine three, Lady Mountaineers. Fields three, no good. Long rebound, Harrison comes up with it. High post, Harrison back out. Three pointer, no good. Thomas with the rebound. She'll bring it up the floor. And it's going to be out of bounds off of Marietta. So good defense again there by Jensie Fields. This pressure is really, it's really stymieing Marietta right now, Brad. I mean, that last possession before this turnover here was their best possession as far as getting shots at the basket. Fields, Lasser, three-pointer on the wing, no good. Thomas with the rebound. Knight into the paint. Shot blocked, blocked by Fe Macy Fields. And she will bring it up the floor for Brushy. Good ball movement. Harrison could have had it over three, didn't take it. Skip pass, Macy Fields. Back to Jensie Fields. She'll set up the offense here. Little 1 2 2 zone look from Marietta. Harrison three pointer. No good. Oh. And then we have a, a foul here on the rebound. Jency Fields. He's going to get fouled. And if that's on Thomas, I believe that may be, may be her third personal. Nope, it's going to be on Duncan, Trinity Duncan, her first. Sixth team foul on the Lady Raiders. Fields, three-pointer, corner, short. Lasseter rebound, and she will get fouled on the shot. So we'll see number five, Kinley Lasseter, go to the line for the Lady Mountaineers. The shot is good. Second shot good, Lasseter gets them both. Thomas up the sideline. It's going to be off her foot, out of bounds. Actually, it's going to it's going to be off it's going to be off Brushy. It's going to be off. Oh. Leave us off Harris's foot, oh. out of bounds. Gonna get a whistle here and a hold on Harrison. Don't want a foul out there though. You you go now you're in the bonus. What are you are you got a double oh seven watch on there or something? You become double oh seven? No, oh, my buddy my buddy texts me. <laughs> yeah. I know you are. We're working on the internet, guys, if you're watching from wherever. Fields with the ball at top. 210 left here, first, excuse me, second quarter. Harrison, dribble drive, shot, no good. Knight with the rebound. We get a whistle here and a timeout on the floor. 158 left here, second quarter. Lady Mountaineers 11, Lady Raiders 3. You're watching CHSN. You're home for the Ori's area tournament. Hey, Brad. Yes, sir. You need some rock or gravel or dirt in your yard? I do. You can call J&K Dumping Trunking Ex Excavation Dump Truck. Mm. That sounds weird. Call Jason Copeland at 918-207-8112, and he'll bring, he'll bring you out a load or two, whatever you need there. Oh. 
No, oh, I know what I'm going to do. This right here. Better hold it, Andrew. Yeah. So we're having some some internet connection issues here in the gym, but it looks like we're looks like we're good currently. So yeah, fingers crossed. Eleven three, Lady Mountaineers with the lead. Want to thank our sponsors this evening: RCB Bank, J and K Dump, Trucking and Excavation, and the Rustic Pearl Wedding and Event Barn. Basketball here with 158 left in the second quarter. Trying to get the book straightened out down here at the scores table. Not really sure what's going on. Well, they actually went back to six fouls on on, uh, on Brushy. Okay. That's what they went back to. Number 22 in the ball game. Alley for Marietta. Back up the floor on the wing. Alley with the ball. On the floor, give it to Thomas. Thomas handles it. For to Ford. Ford dribbles baseline. Pass stolen by Harris. Lady Mountaineers back into the front court here. Harris, Laster at the high post. She shoots a runner, de partially deflected there. Nice defense by number 12, Harley Smith. And now Crozier brings it across the timeline into the front court. Thomas, little floater, got it. Tell you what, that's the first point since the first minute of the ball game for Marietta. 11-5, Brushy. Harrison with the ball. She's going to get fouled on the sideline. It's like, it's like Marietta's looking for the perfect shot. You know, they've had open looks. Or they're looking to get the ball to a certain certain young lady out there. You know, I, I don't know them, you know. Foul was on number two, Chaslin Crozier. Her second at the line, Harrison for Brushy. Free throw, no good. Rebound, Thomas. Over to Crozier. Crozier picks up that dribble. Back to Ford. Ford crossover into the paint, got it blocked. Good defense there by Lassiter. And Smith is going to double dribble. Turnover on the Lady Raiders. Woods checking back in for Brushy. Pressure. There's pressure everywhere, man. Woods with the ball in the backcourt. She'll dribble through traffic. Fields, Lassiter. Going to get fouled on the baseline. And we'll see number five, Kinley Lasseter, at the line for Brushy. She's uh, making a living there tonight, Lasseter is. I think this is her third trip to the line. Marietta has pretty much stayed in the zone defense the whole game, Brad. Lasseter, a good free throw shooter, got the first one. Yeah, that 1 2 2 zone. Thirty-seven seconds left here. Last year, second shot on the way, no good. Duncan dribbles in the backcourt, lost it. Stolen. Harris to the bucket, missed it. Rebound, bunch number twenty-five, and we'll get a foul on Brushy here in the backcourt, and we'll see number twenty-five, Carissa Bunch, go to the line for the Lady Raiders. Both teams in a bonus now. Bunch at the line, free throw no good. Rebound Harris. 
Over to Fields. Fields dribbles it up. Kicks it out. Lassiter for three. Short. Rebound to Alley. Over to Crozier. Ford into the paint. Going to get fouled on the shot. We'll see number three, Andrea Ford at the line for Marietta here with four seconds left in the opening half. First shot no good for Ford. Second shot on the way. In and out. Fields with the rebound. Half quarter off the backboard, and we go to halftime here at Marietta in the Ori's area tournament. Brushy, Lady Mountaineers 12, Marietta Lady Raiders 5. We'll be back after a few words from our sponsors. You're watching CHSN. The Rustic Pearl Wedding and Event Barn is a beautiful venue hidden in the foothills of the Ozarks. It's a perfect place to have your special indoor-outdoor event with a breathtaking and picturesque view. Rustic Pearl is beyond spacious enough to have any event such as a wedding, Ken Sierra, family reunion, business meeting, or anniversary. 2020 dates are booking fast, so call or text 918-797-4700 for a tour and for more information. Also, look us up on Facebook and at our website, rusticpearl.org. Hey, Andrew. We also want to thank Brushy Schools. Brushy School is, a dedicated, is dedicated to providing a strong academic curriculum as well as many extracurricular activities that help provide a variety of experiences while attending our school. Brushy School promotes excellence in all we do. We would like to wish our team luck <coughs> as they go forward in the Ori's tournament. Brushy rocks.
They're a proud supporter of Justice Tawa Athletics. That's my bank. That's Brad's bank. Depends on how much money is, is in it, Jimbo. You know what I mean? <laughs> also want to thank uh, JK Dump Trucking and Excavation. Yep, if you Jason. need some rock, gravel, or dirt, call Jason Copeland at 918-207-8112. That's JK Dump Trucking and Excavation. Jimbo, we're, we're, we think we may have a solution to our internet problems. I know we have a few people we're trying to watch today. Um, we're trying to get this coax cable. Out the back door? Yeah. I think we're going to get as close as we can. You know what I mean? Does he need some help? He might. I got it covered, buddy, if you want to go help him out. Marietta basketball here as we begin the third quarter. Knight will inbound to Thomas. Thomas into the paint, off the glass, shot no good. But she will get fouled on the shot. So good, good job there by Bryce e. Thomas. Actually, it's going to be, no, they're going to call it on, call a violation. Maybe traveling? Woods, nice pass to Laster, lost it. And it's going to be tied up underneath. And it'll stay with Brushy here. With 5.45 left here in the third quarter. Inbound. Lasseter all alone. Dude, the bug is going to get fouled on the shot. Wow. <laughs> I thought Lasseter should have, she kind of slowed up there at the last minute. I thought she could have went in there as hard as she could. I think she was surprised, though. Maybe she wants to go to the line. She's lived there tonight. Well, yeah, but she was so surprised that the, the lane just opened up. Free throw is good. Laster shooting a good percentage tonight from the line. I think she's only missed one, seven of eight, or six of seven, I believe. Number four checking in for Marietta. That's <laughs> Haven catcher. Second shot good, last year. She's six of seven. Eight, she shot eight now, I believe. Six of eight. Six of eight. Pretty good job from the line by Lasseter and good backcourt pressure here. And it's gonna be knocked away and out of bounds off Harris. Hey, did you ever see? think you'd see one of these McCoy girls down here coaching and being very vocal as she is down here though? They were so quiet in they high were. school. They were, they were very quiet in high school. Yeah, I went to high school with them. Pull up three, Crozier, got it. Chaslin Crozier cuts the lead to six, 14 to eight. We'll get our scoreboard updated momentarily. Woods on the drive, blocked by catcher. Gonna be out of bounds off of Brushy. Could be married to basketball. Timeout on the floor, 5.06 left here, third quarter. Lady Mountaineers 14, Lady Raiders 8. You're watching the Ori's Area Tournament on CHSN. The Rustic Pearl Wedding and Event Barn is a beautiful venue hidden in the foothills of the Ozarks. It's a perfect place to have your special event, indoor or outdoors, with a breathtaking and picturesque view. Rustic Pearl is beyond spacious enough to have any event, such as weddings, quinceaneras, fam family reunions, business meetings, or anniversaries. 2020 dates are booking fast. Call or text 918-797-4700 for a tour and for more information. Also look us up on Facebook on our website, rusticpearl.org. Who's that kid? I don't know, who is he? He's got a frown on his face, though. He's got a game face. A game face. Look <laughs> <laughs> like Bobby Knight had his game face. <laughs> <laughs> Look like almost. Smith having all kinds of problems. She'll double dribble in the backcourt. Again, good pressure by Brushy there. The Lady Mountaineer basketball here. 
4.56 left third quarter, 14 to eight. It's gonna be out of bounds as the Lady Mountaineers, <laughs> Woods and Lasser are <laughs> crashing into each other over there in the corner. Yeah, the ball be out right here because nobody yep. touched it. Yep, should be Marietta basketball yeah. right there. Crozier handles the basketball. Crozier's going to pull up right inside the three-point line. No good. Nice rebound inside by Ford. Her putback is good. 14-10, Marietta. Making a run. A little offensive spurt here. Stolen. Smith. Over to Crozier. Crozier handles the ball. Man-to-man -man defense from the Lady Mountaineers. Ford lost it. Over to Catcher. Catcher drives baseline pass. Back over to Smith. Ford with an open jumper. No good. Rebound Harris inside. And she's going to look up the floor. Harris all the way to the bucket, and we'll get a charge oh. there. Yeah, I really didn't see. Crozier didn't look like she was set, but Harris was also out of control there on the drive. So. Yeah. Marietta basketball, 4.05 left here, third quarter. Knight, ball knocked away, stolen by Fields. Fields to the rim. Layup is good. Jensie Fields. Hey, that's her first two. Good defense by Harrison in the backcourt. Smith with the ball. For Marietta, you almost got to get a timeout. You're going to get the 10 second violation if you don't. So, timeout on the floor, 344 left third quarter, 14 10. Excuse me, 16 10. Lady Mountaineers, you're watching the Ori's area tournament on CHSN. Hey, Jimbo. Hey, what? Let's thank our sponsors, RCB Bank. That's my bank. And they are a proud supporter of Justice TY Athletics. Wildcats. Also, JK Dump Trucking and Excavation. <laughs> Not JK Dumping Trucking. <laughs> <laughs> if you need rock or gravel or dirt, hey. Yeah, give Jason Copeland a call at 918-207-8112. That's j &K, Dump Truck, Service, and Excavation. They're a telequal company, so I would assume they're probably a Grandview. I bet they're a Grandview school fan. Huh? Mine need to get, hey, yeah. mine need to get them on, on our uh, Yep, mine need to get them school, on Sequoia. On our high school broadcast. Come on, Jason. Hey, and you could also do the Rustic Pearl Wedding on our high school broadcast. You know, I mean, yeah. to what it, you know what they're advertising. Three forty left, third quarter. Again, backcourt pressure here from Brushy. Ford on the drive, kicks it out to Crozier, lost it, saves it. We get a whistle here and a traveling violation on number four, catcher. Number three, she's got two different pairs of shoe on, man. Check well, it I out. I think it's the same pair of shoe. I think it's just they, they make them that way. Fields, nice Euro step through the paint. Got it. Jensen Fields on a little scoring run here. Good defense. Over to Ford, Ford drives. Bounce pass, Smith off the glass, no good. Rebound, Fields. Gents into the paint. She's taking Goes trying. up, ball's going to be deflected. Harris tried to, to save over. it, but I thought it, I think it would have been off. It would have. Would have been off Marietta there. Yeah. But when you're, when you're young like this, they just go for the ball. You know, they did. I mean, they're trying to make a play. That That's their. 
I don't think Coach McCoy is going to. No, she I don't won't. Think she'll really she understand. won't agree with that. I don't think she'll yeah. agree with anything yeah. you said right yeah. now. Yeah, she won't, but, 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 you know. Good defense there by Fields. Knocks it out of bounds. Andrew, how are we looking? Okay. Ball knocked away. Lassiter comes up with it. Over to Woods. Woods, back it out. Lassiter, open three-pointer from the wing. No good. Jensen Fields with the rebound. Macy Fields for three. No good. Rebound inside. Smith with the board for Marietta. Crozier. Alley in the ball game, number 22 for Marietta. Crozier is going to get fouled on the drive. It's going to be on Woods. It's going to be her third. First team foul on Brushy. Crozier with the ball. Lady Mountaineers in the man to man. Good defense by Brushy here. Kicks it out. Ford for three. Short. Rebound Harris inside. We're going to get a whistle. And I believe that's going to be on Harris. Oh. A loose ball foul there, and they're going to call him a Harris. It's going to be her third, second team foul on Brushy with 150 left in the third quarter. Going to be out of bounds, knocked out of bounds by Fields. <coughs> So in another foul here, and I believe that's going to be on Lassiter. Can't let her inside of you right Number there. Five. That's going to be her third. So Brushy getting in a little foul trouble. Feeling now. a little, yeah, feeling a little foul trouble here. With 147 left here in the third quarter. Ford at the line for Marietta. First shot is good. So number 13, Popper Blackburn, sixth grader, checking in here for Marietta. Young team. Second shot good for Ford. And knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with Mary, it'll stay with Brushy here with 146 left in the third quarter. Fields races it. Into the paint, left hand no good. Lassiter with the rebound. Her shot is no good, but she will draw the foul, and Lassiter will go back to the line for the Lady Mountaineers. But Andrew, I'm inside of a middle building, so, you know, should be four or five bars out there. There's towers just right to, you know, to the south of us here, so. Coach Littlefield not happy with the, the way they set up there. Stolen. Woods going to get fouled on the shot. It's going to be on number five, Avery Knight. Good job there by number one, Hadley <coughs> Woods, for the Lady Mountaineers. First shot, no good. Timeout on the floor, we'll take one as well. 134 left here, third quarter. Lady Mountaineers 18, 
Lady Raiders 12. You're watching the Ori's Area Tournament on CHSN. Russian School is dedicated to providing a strong academic curriculum as well as many extracurricular activities that help provide a variety of experiences while attending our school. Russian School promotes excellence in all we do. We would like to wish our team luck as they go forward in the Ori's area tournament. Brushy rocks. Woods will be at the line, she'll shoot one more. 134 left here, third quarter. No good on the second attempt. Crozier to the paint, missed it. Rebound Macy Fields and we'll get a jump ball underneath the basket and it will be Marietta basketball here <coughs> with a 124 <coughs> left here in the third quarter. Again, stay with us. Following this one, we will have the Brushy Mountaineers and the Justice Tiawa Wildcats. Five That's second five. violation. Good defense there by Brushy. Woods up the sideline to the bucket, blocked by Smith. Good defense there by Smith. And Marietta back up the floor into the front court. Knight, little floater just inside the free throw line, no good. Rebound jostled for on the floor. Be a jump ball and it'll be brushy ball with 57.4 left here in the third quarter. Good job by Fields there. Pump fake. Woods to the rim. Got it. Good job there by Brushy, good offense. And it's 20 to 12. Lady Mountaineers, pressure on the sideline. Crozier. Over to Ford, Ford. Blackburn off the, rim, off the backboard, no good. Lady Mountaineers gonna push it. Harris to the rim, got it. Good defense again by Brushy. And we're going to get a travel here on Ford. With 12.8 seconds left here, the Lady Mountaineers can possibly have another opportunity to get a good look here. Yeah, Brushy kind of pulled that pressure off early in the third quarter, but they've kind of put it back on again now. Shot no good for Fields. Seven seconds left. Over to Crozier. Your Marietta, you got to go. Tonight, one second, she got it on her, no good. And we go to the fourth quarter here from Marietta. Brushy Lady Mountaineers, 22. Marietta Lady Raiders, 12. You're watching the Ori's Area Tournament on CHSN. Want to thank RCB Bank. They are a proud supporter of 
Justice Tawa Athletics. I want to thank them for their sponsorship tonight. Also want to thank JK Dump Trucking and Excavation. If you need rock, gravel, or dirt, call Jason Copeland at 918-207-8112. That's Jason Copeland. Jim? Yeah. Fourth quarter here, Brushy Lady Mountaineers looking uh, looking pretty strong here defensively, doing a good job. They played two weeks ago here in the Marietta Festival, and, and Marietta won at the end of the ball game. It was a great ball game. Big quarter for Brushy right there. They got they scored ten points in that quarter. Big quarter. Again, following this one, we'll have the uh, the Brushy Mountaineers and the Justice Tiawa Wildcats. It's Ti is it Tiawa? 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 Justice Tiawa. Tiawa. That's what we'll call it, won't we? Okay. Yeah, that's what we'll call it. Jim, it's uh, this next game's going to be a first for me in my broadcasting career. <coughs> <coughs> you that spanned almost 15 years. You'll get it. You'll you'll be all right. My son is playing in the game. You'll be all right. Is, um, it's gonna be awkward. You'll Andrew. be all right. You'll be all right. You got it. He won't even know you're here. I could get emotional. He won't even know you're here. He don't even know you're here right now. <laughs> uh, I don't know. He might. <laughs> he might. <laughs> Fourth quarter here from Marietta. Great. You don't, you're not going to get a, a better K through eight school <coughs> gym than Marietta's. Well, nice, is, nice gym. Great gym. Nice gym. Crozier with the ball, and they brought us Sonic drinks, didn't they? Guess not. Not us. <laughs> Triple drive forward to the bucket misses. Rebound, Jency Fields. And Lady Mountaineers back up the floor. Woods looking to attack. Through the paint, shot up and good. Hadley Woods. She's up to 10. Having a good fourth, having a good second half. Oh, knocked out of bounds. Good hands over there by Allie Harris, who's probably, who probably has 10 rebounds in the game. She's got eight. Thomas, ball knocked away by Harris. Harris through the rim, got it. Winner of this game, Jimbo, will be in the championship game on Thursday evening to, for a trip to go to the Ori State Tournament in Shawnee, which is um, two weeks from today, or two two weeks from 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 Thursday. Lasseter had probably catching it there, but she drives. She'll shoot, miss. It's going to be rebounded by Thomas. Thomas over to Crozier, and Crozier will walk. That. Marietta's having, they're having a tough time against this pressure from the Lady Mountaineers. Woods, three-pointer. Off, rebound Harris, blocked by Smith. Good block there by Harley Smith. And the Lady Raiders back up the floor. Thomas pulls up, 16-footer, got it. Ricey Thomas, <coughs> number 10. Woods drives. She'll reset. Over to Macy Fields, 26-14. 12-point lead here for the Lady Mountaineers as Fields dribbles against pressure. Loses it, falls down. And then we got a jump ball here on the floor. And it'll stay with Brushy with 4.01 left here in the fourth quarter. <laughs> there we go. Let's get the right. <laughs> huh? You had the third scoreboard up, didn't you? Woods, three. No good. Long rebound. Going to go out of bounds. Going to be Marietta basketball here. 3.54 left. Fourth quarter. The 
Good pressure. It's going to be out of bounds off of Marietta. But again, that backcourt pressure from the Lady Mountaineers. Fields dribbles it across the timeline. And she will be fouled beyond the three-point line by number three, Andrea Ford, for the Lady Raiders. Fields, bounce pass, good hands there by Thomas, knocking it out of bounds. They'll stay with Brushy here, 338 left, fourth quarter. Lady Mountaineers get it in. Harris over to Woods. Woods drives. Good defense there by Smith. And Crozier comes up with the rebound. And she'll push it up the floor over to Thomas. Thomas into the paint. Jump stop shot. No good. Rebound. Macy Fields. And now Jensie Fields will bring it up against pressure here. Back over to Macy Fields. Good job sharing the basketball here by the... Lady Mountaineers. Ford on the floor. Good defense by Marietta. Crozier, pass ahead. Ford lost it out of bounds. But it'll, be, it'll be knocked out by Brushy. Harrison checking in. Two fifty-eight left, fourth quarter. Knight. Gets the ball into Thomas, and she will get fouled on the shot. So Thomas will go to the line for Marietta. First shot, no good. Gets quiet in this gym, doesn't it? When they yeah. Shoot, when Marietta shoots free throws. Yeah, yeah. What's your home court? How's the connection looking, Andrew? That's great. I'm proud of you. Twenty-six, fifteen. Lady Mountaineers. Fields dribbles it up. Over to Woods. Three-pointer. No good. Rebound. It's going to be not nice save there by Jency Fields. Back over to Thomas. Thomas up ahead. Smith. Bounce pass inside. Good job by Crozier getting set. Good offense there by the Lady Raiders. And they cut the lead 20 to 26 17. Harris back into the front court. Get a timeout on the floor. 26 17. Lady Mountaineers. 225 left here, fourth quarter. You're watching the Ori's area tournament on CHSN. The Rustic Pura Wedding and Event Barn is a beautiful venue hidden in the foothills of the Ozarks. It is a perfect place to have your special indoor-outdoor event with a breathtaking and picturesque view. Rustic Pearl is beyond spacious enough to have any event, such as a wedding, Ken Sierra, family reunion, business meeting, or anniversary. 2020 days are booking fast. Call or text 918-797-4700 for a tour and for more information. Also look us up on Facebook or on our website at rusticpearl.org. Also want to thank RCB Bank. They are a proud sponsor of Justice Tiowa Athletics. Let's go Wildcats. Winner of this will advance to the championship game Thursday evening. And the winner of that will advance to the Ori State Tournament in Shawnee. I believe they play that at Shawnee High School. It's going to be turnover here on Brushy. It's going to be Marietta basketball. That's the big deal in Ori's gym. You want to make it to Shawnee. That's where you want to go.
Thomas on the drive, lost it. Knight off the glass, no good. Rebound Harris again. Is that 10? That's 10 for Harris. 10 rebounds for Allie Harris. Go along with six points. Fields kicks it. Lasseter for three. Off the glass, no good. Jensie Fields with the offensive rebound. And the Lady Mountaineers will back it out and run some offense here. Hadley Woods with the ball. It's going to be knocked out of bounds off of Crozier. Lady Mountaineers get it in. Harris, got it. Allie Harris with the bucket. 28-17, Knight dribbles through traffic. To the paint, runner, got it. Avery Knight, a nice shot there for Marietta. Fields in the backcourt pressured. Knight's gonna reach and pick up the personal foul. And that'll be the fifth team foul on Marietta now. Well, you're a long ways from being in the bonus. It'll be the fourth personal on Knight. Fields. With the ball. Over to the Lassiter. <laughs> Andrew, how, how are we looking on the streams? They up? Good. How many, how many, how many views are we getting? And, and again, folks, we apologize. We've had some technical difficulties, but Andrew, <coughs> Andrew has got got them worked out. Huh? Oh. No, I'm I, I'm going to give you the credit. Under a minute to play here, fourth quarter. Lady Mountaineers looking good here, 28-19, with the lead could advance to the Ori's Championship, area championship Thursday night. Crozier on the baseline, reverse, nice play there by Chaselyn Crozier. And Lady, Lady Raiders showing a little life here. Fields going to back it out, going to run some clock, 32 seconds. Smart playing here by Jency Fields, and she will get fouled. And now if you're Marietta, you got to burn a couple fouls to get in the bonus. So there's one. That's going to be on Blackburn. It's going to be her first. Good job on the inbounds by Marietta. But Rushy does get it in. You got a foul. You got a foul here. The quicker you foul, the more you can extend this game. Yeah, you ain't got no chance if you don't foul. And finally, Crozier fouls. And that'll be the seventh team foul on Marietta. And now we will see a one and one here for number 11, Jensie Fields. Fields at the line, one and one. Free throw, no good. Thomas with the rebound. 10 seconds. And again, pressure here from Brushy. Five seconds. Crozier, you got to get one off here. A little runner from the free throw line, no good. Lady Mountaineers win, and they advance to the area championship on Thursday evening. Final score, Brushy, Lady Mountaineers 28. Marietta, Lady Raiders 21. We'll take a quick break, and we'll be back for the boys' tip after a few words from our sponsors. Rushy School is dedicated to providing a strong academic curriculum as well as many extracurricular activities that help provide a variety of experiences while attending our school. Rushy School promotes excellence in all we do. We would like to wish our teams luck as they go forward in the Ori's tournament. Rushy rocks.
Are we on? Well, I was going to do some stats. Hey, and I'm back tonight. I'm going to go over some stats for you here. Uh, Marietta was led in scoring by Crozier. She had seven. Uh, Ford also had seven. Thomas had five. Knight had two. Knight had six boards. Crozier had five. Thomas had four. Smith had three. Bunch had two. Uh, Smith led them with blocks with four. Uh, the brushy Lady Mountaineers were led uh, by Woods. She had ten. Uh, Harris had eight. Lasker had six. And Genzie Fields had four. Uh, Harris had ten boards. Uh, Genzie Fields had eight boards. And then you had uh, Lasker with three boards. Then uh, Macy Fields and uh, Harrison had two boards apiece, and then Woods had one. Steals were led by uh, Genzy Fields. She had eight. Harris had two. Laster had two. Uh, you had a block by Laster and a block by Macy Fields, and that's your stats for the girls' game. And we'll go off and get be back for the boys' game.
And we're back here, Brad Cameron, Jim Alderson, Andrew Newberry, live from Marietta Public Schools here on the north side of Stillwell, Oklahoma. And we're ready for the boys game now. Brushy Mountaineers, Justice Tiawa, Wildcats, Mountaineers and Wildcats. And we will have the starting lineups here momentarily. Jim? Yeah, buddy. You ready? Lady Mountaineers, another one game closer to the state tournament. Boy, they, they pressured they pressure Marietta all over the court. Uh, that zone pressure they run, that full court zone defensive pressure they run, it, it's, I mean, they just move their feet so well. Uh, they press the whole game there for a little bit in the third quarter. It looked like it come out in a man-to-man. -man. Wildcats and Mountaineers. Wildcats led by Coach Michael Fraley. Mountaineers led by Head Coach Blaine Christopher. We'll see Clark and Bags to jump center. Wildcats control the tip. See number 10, Oxford at the point. Number 11, Garboni. Eubanks with the ball. Brushy in the zone here. It's going to be nice save uh -huh. there by Miller. No, they're 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 in a box and one. Box and one? Yeah. Good job, Gra Jimbo. Grass is, co uh, is covering 24 for them, man to man. Yancey. Grass, Hunter Pack for three. Mountaineers up three, nothing. Oxford across the timeline. He'll set up the offense. Three-pointer on the way, no good. Backside rebound, Clark. And we're going to get a loose ball foul, I believe. Jump ball. Nope, going to be a jump ball. And it be, should be brushy basketball here. Yes. Backcourt pressure here from the Wildcats. Grass with the ball. He'll go up the sideline through traffic to the rim, laying no good. Clark with a good rebound for the Wildcats. And now they'll push it up the floor. Riggs through the paint, blocked out of bounds. That's, that's all, that was off of 20. <laughs> Got a replay on that? I don't think our replay system's up right now. The replay system is going. And we're going to get an offensive foul here on Justice Tyra. And it'll be brushy basketball. You said these two teams played each other earlier in the year? No, never seen them. Oh. We oh. play Marietta, oh, okay. but not we, we don't okay. play. I thought, you, I thought you said these two teams nope. had played. Nope. That was the last game. Okay, okay, okay. I'm behind. Need to catch up with you, don't I? Yeah. Huh? Lee back up the floor over to Grass. Three pointer on the way. Blocked. Good defense there by, I believe that was number 11 out there, Oxford. Oxford on the wing. Garbani, number 11. High post Clark through traffic. Misses. Rebound Miller over to Pack. And now the Mountaineers back into the front court. Bags, shot no good. Offensive rebound, Bags couldn't get it. And now Riggs will push it up the floor. 
We'll get a whistle here and we're going to get a charge. Low to shoulder, yep. sit. Good job there by Yancey Grass. Getting set. Expecting the contact. And we'll see number two off the bench here, Eubanks, checking in. Three nothing, Mountaineers. 4.05 left here, first quarter. Grass walks it up the floor. 2-1-2 two, two for the Wildcats. Pack, three-pointer. Got it. Six nothing, Mountaineers. Good pressure over here. And a stolen by here by Bags over to Pack. Pack going to back it out. Over to Grass. Grass bags, 15-footer, in and out. Nice rebound inside by number 15, Teal, for the Wildcats. Back into the front court here. Going to have a travel on Eubanks. Drug that foot. It'll be brushy basketball. 6-0 here. 3.25 left, opening quarter. 2-1-2 two -two zone from the Wildcats. Lee and Grass share the ball up top. Lee for three. No good. Rebound good. Again, Teal in there with another good rebound for the Wildcats. Riggs, Garbani splits the trap. Ball's going to be knocked away. Lee couldn't come up with it. Teal's going to get it inside, misses, and we're going to get a loose ball foul here. I believe it's going to be on number seven, Joseph Lee. That'll be Wildcat basketball here. Underneath, 2.56 left here, opening quarter. Three-pointer, no good. Nice backside rebound by number 31, Dylan Miller. And Lee will bring it up for Brushy. Brushy in a straight-up zone now on defense. Pass, bags inside, shot up, and no good. Going to get a loose ball foul here on Miller. And it'll be Wildcat basketball here. Looks like we're getting a little 1-2, one, 1-1 one, one press here. Ball knocked away, out of bounds off of Brushy. Wildcat basketball, 227 left here. Garbani, Teal inside. That's number 10, Oxford. Riggs, Garbani on the wing. Three-pointer on the way, no good, way off. Lee with the rebound. The pack will bring it up for Brushy. I post, Bags, lost it. Teal comes up with it. Nice pass ahead, but it's gonna be over the head of Garbani, out of bounds, turnover. Wildcats. Six nothing Mountaineers. Two one two zone. Lee with the ball. ball pass knocked away. Stolen by Teal. Good defense. Good hands there by Bags, knocking it loose. It's going to be out of bounds off of Brushy. <laughs> See number four, Camden Urchison in the ball game for the Mountaineers, seventh grader. Teal. Gets it to Clark. Clark is going to get the bucket and the foul. Nice move there by number one, Rex Clark. <coughs> and Clark will go to the line for the Wildcats here with 118 left here in the opening quarter. Free throw good, 6-3 Mountaineers. Grass walks it up. Little half-court trap here from 
Justice Tiawa. Stolen by Teal, and great play by Teal. Teal <laughs> playing and having a good game off the bench yeah. for the Wildcats. Two rebounds, two steals. Garboni, high post, good job by Urchison there, knocking it away, and it'll be stolen by Pack. Pack, grass, three-pointer from the sideline, no good. Rebound Teal. Pass inside, Clark. Going to get a charge. Good job there by Bags. Yeah, just taking that one. Just lowered his shoulder there. Yeah. Timeout on the floor. We'll take one as well. 33.8 left here. Opening quarter. Mountaineer six, Wildcats three. You're watching the Ori's Area Tournament on CHSN. I want to thank the RCB Bank who are proud supporters of the Justice Tawa Athletics. That's my bank. That's your bank, buddy. You got any money in there? You got a lot of money in there? No. I also wanted to thank uh, JK Dump Trucking and Excavation. If you need rock, gravel, or dirt, call Jason Copeland at 918-207-8112. That's Jason Copeland. Thirty-three seconds left here in the first quarter. Mountaineer six, Wildcats three. Grass will walk it up the floor for Brushy. Pack, high post, Urchison couldn't handle it off his hand. Back into the front court here is Eubanks, number two. Over to Clark, Teal. Walks. Going to be Brushy basketball here. Brushy's done a good job with defense, defensive position. Six seconds left, five seconds left, four seconds, three. Grass drives, hangs, shot no good. Rebound Clark, and that'll do it for the first quarter. We go to the second here from Marietta Public Schools. Brushy Mountaineer six, Justice Tiawa, Wildcats three. You're watching the Ori's Area Tournament on CHSN. <clears throat> the Rustic Pearl Wedding and Event Barn is a beautiful venue hidden in the foothills of the Ozarks. It's a perfect place to have your special indoor, outdoor event with a breathtaking and picturesque view. Rustic Pearl is beyond spacious enough to have any event such as a wedding, quinceanera, family reunion, business, meeting or anniversary. 2020 dates are booking fast. Call or text 918-797-4700 for a tour and for more information. Also, look us up on Facebook or on our website, rusticpearl.org. Rusty School is dedicated to providing a strong academic curriculum as well as many extracurricular activities they help promote a variety of experiences while attending our school. Rusty School promotes excellence in all we do. We would like to wish our team luck as they go forward in the Ori's tournament. Rusty rocks. Jimbo, I want to thank uh, Chad Harp out here for having us out here today for the Ori's area tournament. I would have been here anyway, but Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, you Appreciate getting the opportunity to broadcast some junior high basketball. Three-pointer from the baseline, no good. Nice board by Clark. Eubanks. Oxford with the ball inside. Nice jump stop there by Clark. Couldn't get it, and Lee comes up with a rebound. Looked like Urchison got a block there, Brad. Did he? Yeah. I'm not surprised. He gets a lot of them. Grass into the paint, shot up, no good. Nice teal in there with another rebound. Good hustle by Bags. And now we'll get a whistle and a foul here on Grass as Riggs races his way up the floor. Six-three Mountaineers. 
5-10 left here, second quarter. Back in this boxing one here. Jimbo. Yeah. Rushy's done a good job running this defense right here. Three-pointer on the way, way off, and it'll be out of bounds. <laughs> Fans getting into it. Yeah. Gonna fight somebody. <laughs> still, hey, still junior high basketball. Yep. You can still scream from the stands, and, yep. and you can go down and cut, coach your kid while he's on the bench. Yep. <laughs> yes, sir. Because <laughs> you know that ain't ha happening in high school. Pack drive, shot no good. Teal with another That's rebound. That's five boards for Teal off, off the, bench. the bench. Riggs, skip pass. Oxford, Teal, no good. Urgency couldn't rebound it, couldn't catch it. Back to Riggs, Eubanks pull up three, in and out. Urchison got it knocked out of his hands. Good job positioning there by Camden. <laughs> It'll be brushy basketball. 4.16 left here, second quarter. Miller back in the ball game for the Mountaineers. Grass with the ball. Step back shot. Got it. Whistle here. We got a foul. Away from the ball. Away from the ball. Was that a two or a three? It was a two, I believe. Bucket is good, and it'll be, I guess it, it looks like it's going to be on Brushy. So it'll be Wildcat basketball here with four well, they minutes left. They ain't changing nothing yet. There we go. Eight three, Mountaineers backcourt pressure here from Brushy. Shot inside, Clark gonna get fouled on the shot. It's gonna be on Bags. You see number one, Rex Clark at the line for Justice Tywa. Trying to get the uh, scoring figured out. Clark at the line for the Wildcats. Trying to figure out what what's going on here. They're the offensive fouls. They're writing them in the book, but they're not told them on the fouls. Okay. And, and you got to told them on the fouls. Mm -hmm. The only difference is, is you won't shoot free throws on an offense on, 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 on an offensive foul. Yes, a player control when, when, foul. When you're in bonus. Yes. So that'll fix that'll fix the team fouls for Justice Tywa. They have four team fouls, six for the Mountaineers. Free throw is off for Clark. He'll get one more. So the next foul on Brushy will put the Wildcats in the bonus. Second shot is good. 8-4. Mountaineers. Grass brings it up. Man-to-man -man defense for the Wildcats. Grass to the paint, shot no good, rebound inside. It's going to be knocked out of bounds. It's going to stay with Brushy here with 3.35 left in the second quarter. Got to have them right there, buddy. Got to yes, have them do. bunnies. Yes, you do. Bags with the ball. On the baseline, he drives out the lead. Grass inside, Bags. Bags has lost it, got it back. Pass is going to get knocked away. Pack comes up with it somehow. Grass with the ball. Kicks it out, Pack. Drives baseline, lost it. 
Good defense there by number 24, Caden Riggs. It'll be a jump ball and it'll be Wildcat basketball. I'll be glad when I get over the sinus junk. Oh, yeah, I've had about two weeks. Looks like it's going to be brushy basketball. I won't tell you where I got my medicine at. <laughs> Probably for the best. <laughs> <laughs> no, you need to know. You really do. Stolen. Clark with the ball. Clark lost it. Wow. Teal comes up with it. Almost got away with a walk there. And now open shot by Riggs, no good. Bags with the rebound. I think I, I think the 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 box and one is kind of he's kind of affected Riggs a little bit. He he he's really struggling right now, it looks like. Grass with the ball. Shot. He drives into the paint, kicks it out, packed for three, short. Miller saves it to Bags. Great play there by Dylan Miller. Lee for three, off. Lee with his offensive rebound. And we'll get a whistle here and a foul on Riggs. And Riggs will go to the, uh, he'll go to the bench. He has three now. And number 11 checks in, that's Garibani. Grass with the ball up top, 2.20 left here, second quarter. Good defense, stolen by Teal. Back up the floor. Justice Tawa, Eubanks, Clark with the ball in the paint. Kicks it out, extra pass, good extra pass. Three-pointer on the way, got it. Number 10, Oxford for three. And it's 8-7. Mountaineers. 148 left here. Second quarter. Drive by Grass. Lost it. Picked up by Oxford. Oxford's going to run it up the floor. Over to Eubanks. Eubanks thought about it. Dribble in. Clark. Shot up and in. And the foul. And Rex Clark will go to the line for the Wildcats here. Good shot there by Clark. That was good. Urchison back in for Brushy. Timeout on the floor. 125 left here, second quarter. Justice Tawa, 10, Brushy, 8. You're watching the Ori's Area Tournament on CHSN. I want to thank RCB Bank, who is a proud supporter of Justice Tawa Athletics. And that's where Brad banks. That's my bank. <laughs> you said that's my bank. That's your <laughs> bank. <laughs> also want to thank JK Dump Trucking and the Excavation. If you need rock, if you need gravel or dirt, call Jason Copeland at 918-207-8112. That's Jason Copeland. 10-8, Wildcats with the lead. Purchasing, skip pass, Lee. Man-to-man -man defense from the Wildcats. Lee will back it out. With Pack. Pack spins. Gonna get fouled. So Pack will not go to the line here. It'll be brushy underneath. So that'll be the sixth team foul on Justice Tiowa. It's the first on number two, Titus Eubanks. Urchison inside. Shot off the glass. Got it. Nice job by Urchison. Clark couldn't control it, out of bounds. 
turnover here. That'll be Mountaineer basketball with 47 seconds left. I play for one. They played the zone most of the half against you. I just lay back. Grass. Over to Urchison for three. No good. Long rebound. And we'll get a whistle here. And it'll be on number 31, Dylan Miller, I believe. And that'll be free throws here for Justice Tiowa. <laughs> that shot might not look what Coach Christopher wanted out there. That three right there? Probably not. Yeah. At the line, Eubanks. First free throw is good. That's uh, Titus Eubanks. Number 11, Nick Garbani back in the ball game for the Wildcats. Second shot on the way. No good. Pack comes up with the rebound. Grass to the paint, shot up, no good. Got his own rebound, lost it. Ball's on the ground. We're going to get a traveling violation here on Clark. Can't get up with the basketball. You got to uh, stay down and try to get rid of it there. Your Clark. Now we'll see number 10, Brody Cameron, checking into the ball game. With the 19 seconds left. Pass, bags off the glass, couldn't get it. Urchison with the rebound, and he's going to get fouled on the shot. So number Good play. Number four, Camden Urchison will go to the line for the Mountaineers. He got a haircut, Dad. Who? Bro. Yeah. <laughs> good. Free throw, no good. Urchison will get one more. How's our views looking today, Andrew? Get some views. 50? Excellent. Second shot good, and we are tied at 11 here as Eubanks brings it up the floor. Ball knocked away, stolen by Lee. To the bucket, shot no good. Nice rebound by Teal. Now with five seconds, Garbani's going to pull up for a long three-pointer. Oh. In and out. And we go to halftime here at Marietta. We got a, we got a good ball game here. Justice Tiowa, Wildcats 11, Brushy Mountaineers 11. Stay with us. We'll be back with the second half after a few words from our sponsors. You're watching the Ori's Area Tournament on CHSN. The Rustic Pearl Wedding and Event Barn is a beautiful venue hidden in the foothills of the Ozarks. It's the perfect place to have your special indoor, outdoor event with a breathtaking and picturesque view. Rustic Pearl is beyond spacious enough to have any event, such as a wedding, quinceanera, family reunion, business meeting, or anniversary. 2020 dates are booking fast. Call or text 918-797-4700 for a tour and for more information. Also, look us up on Facebook or on our website, rusticpearl.org. Brushy School is dedicated to providing a strong academic curriculum as well as many extracurricular activities that help provide a variety of experiences while attending our school. Brushy School promotes excellence in all we do. We would like to wish our team luck as they go forward in the Ori's area tournament. Brushy rocks.
Jimbo. Yeah. Got some halftime stats. Can, I got. I got some. We can, I got, we can skim over. I can. I can give you some. Uh, uh, Justice Tawa, they were led in scoring, but by Clark he had seven. Oxford had three. Uh, Titus Eubanks had one. Uh, Teal had six boards. Clark had three. Teal also had three steals, along with Eubanks and Clark both have one. Uh, the Brushy Boys was led by Pack, who hit them first two shots early in the game, them two threes. And then you had uh, Urchinson, who wound up with three. And then Grass had two. Uh, Lee has three boards. Miller has three boards. Urchison has two. Pack has a steal. Bags has a steal. And, and uh, Grass and uh, Urchison both have a block apiece. Very good. It'll be Wildcat basketball here to begin the second half. I want to thank all of our viewers. We hope you guys are enjoying our live coverage of the Ori's Area Tournament. First time that me and Jimbo has ever done um, a junior high basketball game. So it's really pretty cool, though. I think this may be more exciting than some of our high school games we've, we've done. <laughs> what you think? Yeah, yeah. High post, Clark. Good defense there by Dylan Miller. Triple drive, nice move through the paint. No good. Joseph Lee with a good rebound inside for the Mountaineers, and Grass will slow it down here and set up the offense for Brushy. Grass through the paint, laying no good. Clark lost it out of bounds. It'll stay with Brushy here at 5'18. They're letting them play in there, not calling a lot of fouls on these drives. Grass is getting, he's getting good looks on his drive. He'll set up the ball outside. Man-to-man -man defense. Gets it out, Pack thought about it, Pack drives. Shoots, no good, rebound, Oxford. Oxford will set it up here. Eubanks, Oxford into Clark, pull up. Good 10-foot shot there by Rex Clark. Rex Clark's been on the scoreboard tonight for the Wildcats, doing a good job. You know, Brad, I, I'm not for sure if you need to be in this uh, in this uh, box and one right now, though. Uh, 24, uh, he's really not shot the ball well right now. No. And I think you're just opening it up for the, the big boy inside. Going to get a whistle here and a offensive foul on Grass. So it'll be Wildcat basketball here with 4.23 left. Wildcats 13, Mountaineers 11. Garboni back in the ball game for Justice Tiowa. Garboni back into the front court. Garboni thought about it, didn't shoot it. Back to Riggs, he Ooh. drives baseline, shot Ooh. up, no good. Clark with another rebound. Clark, tell you what, Clark, best player on the floor right now. He's up to 11. These, these two teams. Rex Clark. 15-11. Pack. Grass, long three-pointer, got it. Yancey Grass. 15, 14, Wildcats. Backside, Garbani, lob pass, knocked away, good defense there by Bags. And Bags will get fouled on the play. Three sixteen left here, Grass walks it up across the timeline. Wildcats 15, Mountaineers 14. Grass kicks it out, Pack. Over to Lee. Lee, Grass. Back to Miller inside, lost it. He will get fouled on the shot. You see Dylan Miller go to the line for the Mountaineers. So 
And Miller will be on the, at the line for Brushy. Two shots. It's two on Teal. First shot, no good. Second shot on the way, no good. Nice job by Lee there, tracking it down. Lee and Bags both doing a good job over there. Pack over to Grass, Grass. Back to Pack, thought about it. Good defense by the Wildcats. They're doing a good job cutting these drives off. Well, they're getting out on Pack now. They're not gonna give him that wide open look that he got early in the game. Pack, baseline, gonna get fouled on the shot. You see Hunter back, Hunter Pack go to the line for Brushy. That'll here. be three on Teal now. We got Eubanks set to check in here for the Wildcats. Pack at the line. First shot is good. Gonna have bomb burner, it looks like, buddy. Yeah. Second shot, got it. Hunter Pack. Good free throw shooting. Eubanks walks. Traveling violation. Gonna be brushy basketball. Brushy 16. Justice Tyrell 15. 229 left here, third quarter. Lee will inbound. Pack, Lee, Grass, three-pointer, no good, long rebound. Going to be saved, and Pack comes up with it, and we're going to have a jump ball. Good job there defensively by Titus Eubanks, number two, tying it up, and it'll stay with the Mountaineers here with 2.13 left in the third quarter. Lee inbounds. That's all right. Grasp collects it in the backcourt. Pass ahead over the head of Dylan Miller. Off Good his, luck. Off his fingertips. A little backcourt pressure here. Grass, Pack, Lee. Riggs catches it. Riggs through the paint, out of control. It's going to get fouled on the shot, and we'll see number 24, Caden Riggs at the line for the Wildcats. It's going to be the first personal on pack. First shot is good. Second shot on the way, missed. Rebound Miller. And Grass will set it up for Brushy. Lee on the drive, good shot off the glass. Joseph Lee, 18-16 Mountaineers. Good pressure here. We should get a jump ball. And oh. Nope, going to get a whistle and a foul here on Ooh. Grass. Ooh. Good defense there. Ooh. Wildcats will inbounds here. 130 left. Third quarter. Skip pass. Three-pointer Riggs. No good. Way off. And it's going to be out of bounds. Off the Brushy, it's going to be off bags, number 50. And it'll be Wildcat basketball. Clark. Oxford got it. Just inside the three-point line, number 10. Titan Oxford. 
And we're tied up 18-18 with a minute 10 left here, third quarter. Bags shoots a three, no good. Rebound, it's going to be knocked out of bounds and we'll get a jump ball. I didn't see a tie up. No, he, I, I just don't think he, I just don't think he knew he touched it oh, last. Okay. Yeah. It, yeah, it should be yeah. Wildcat basketball. Looks like it was off Lee, yeah. out of bounds. But they're, they're calling the jump balls, which it's, it goes to. Possession. Yeah, possession anyway. Backcourt pressure here, Clark. To the paint, got it up and in. Rex Clark having a good evening for the Wildcats. Grass. We're gonna call. We're gonna get a, yep, offensive yep. foul on Grass. And we'll see number ten Brody Cameron back in the ball game for the Mountaineers. That's four on Grass. Dylan Miller also get, getting a breather. Urchison back in, so you got your two seventh graders in the ball game for Brushy. Brushy will stay in this box and one here. Eubanks three, no good, way off. And Cameron will bring it up the floor for Brushy. Any double dribble. Teal, checking back in off the bench. Tell you what, he's a he's had a good evening for the Wildcats. You got a kid like that coming off the bench. Helps your team. Pass backside. Teal wide open. Lane is good. All that Teal's done, that's his first two points of the game. 22-18. Cameron brings it up the floor. Over to Lee. Three-pointer. Oh! No good. And we go to the fourth quarter here from Marietta. Justice Tawa, 22, Brushy, 18. You're watching the Ori's Area Tournament on CHSN. I want to thank our sponsors this evening, RCB Bank. They are a proud supporter of Justice Tiowa Wildcats, and they wish the Wildcats good luck at the Ori's Area Tournament. That's RCB Bank. That's my bank. Also want to thank J&K Dump Trucking and Excavation. If you need rock, gravel, or dirt, give them a call. It's Jason Copeland over there, 918-207-8112. They're located in Tahlequah. And I'm assuming they're a proud supporter of Grandview Athletics. Where's Grandview at? That's between Tahlequah and Fort Gibson? Is that no, I think at? that's Woodall. Okay. Where's sure. Grandview at? I don't know. I'll have to look it up. I want to thank uh, also Chad Harp, the principal here at Marietta School. He's the one that got us up here. Um, appreciate him for allowing us to come up here and broadcast him. Some basketball. We kind of were starting to miss it, wasn't we? Our broadcast. Yeah. Mountaineer basketball here. Pack. Skip pass. Bags. Over to Pack. Pack. Pull up. Tough shot. Baseline. No good. And we'll get a jump ball here as Lee was in there with Riggs. And it'll be Wildcat basketball. Ball stolen by Miller. Pack with the ball. Lost it, stolen back. And now Riggs gets it, and he's going to go to the bucket. Shot no good. Teal inside with the rebound, lost it. And Grass collects it, and Grass now on the open floor. Will pull up, eight foot. Got it. Ten footer there, excuse me, for Yancey Grass. Good looking shot. And it's 22 to 20 now. 
Wildcats back up the floor. Garbani, Clark, ball knocked away. Clark comes up with it. Clark jump stop in the paint, no good. Bodies hitting the floor. Grass All over comes the place. up with it. Grass back up the floor. Pull up jumper, got it. 22-22. Tied up. Rushy playing pretty good, a little out of control, but playing it a little quicker. Clark going to get fouled here on the drive. Yeah, Gra Grass really got to watch out. He's got four fouls, and two of his four are on charges, lowering right. that shoulder. Right. You know. So playing smarter, pulling yes. up, not going all the way to the bucket. Riggs three, got it. 25-22, Wildcats. Grass, back up the floor, pack, three-pointer, no good. Bags with the offensive rebound, his shot up and no good. What a rebound by Miller coming out of nowhere, and he's going to get fouled on the shot. Dylan Miller doing a good job in the paint. He will go to the line for the Mountaineers. Miller at the line. First shot is good. 25-23, Wildcats. Miller done a good job on the boards with five. Second shot, got it. Dylan Miller makes the pair, cuts it to a one-point Justice Tiawa lead here. Good trap here. Riggs, Clark couldn't catch it. Oxford did. Riggs drives. Out of control. Clark comes up with it. Lost it. Loose ball. And it's going to be out of bounds off of Wildcats. Why? Wow, goodness. Woo! <laughs> They're it's flying everywhere. Getting physical in there. Yeah, they're flying everywhere. Twenty-five, twenty-four, Wildcats. Three forty left here. Grass walks it up. Over to pack, pack. Into the paint, pull up jumper, no good. And Miller's going to knock it out of bounds. It's going to be Wildcat basketball. Yeah, good possession. Riggs, Oxford. Over to Riggs, Clark. In the paint. We're going to get a charge here on Clark. Is that his third? It could be his fourth. fourth. Third was already up there. Let's see. First. <laughs> First on Clark. Grass pull up. Way off. Out of bounds. Could be Wildcat basketball. And Riggs gets up injured. Three oh four left here. Fourth quarter. A little Half-court pressure here from the Mountaineers. Over to Riggs, Riggs, Clark, good look. Shot inside, up and in for Clark, Rex Clark. It's up to 15. 15 points. Grass stolen. Riggs to the rim, got it. What a play by Riggs. 29-24 Wildcats. It's a big steal right there by Riggs. Over to Lee. Lee to Pack. Pack lost it. Got it back. Back to Grass. Grass will drive into the paint. going to draw the foul, and Grass will go to the line for Brushy. Riggs looks like he's hurt again. Yeah, he, he was limping a while ago. They changed that while ago. Well, we'll see Eubanks at the line for, or Eubanks will be set to check in for the Wildcats here. The 
Riggs will get a uh, breather here. Grass up the line for Brushy. First free throw is good. 29-25. He can cut it to three here with this one. Off, out of bounds. Out of bounds, it'll be brushy basketball here. So it was off the Wildcats. 29-25. Lee will inbound. Not getting it in. Bags couldn't catch it. Nice hands there by Clark. And now the Wildcats back into the front court. Two minutes left here. Drive baseline, shot blocked by Bags, out of bounds. Timeout on the floor. We'll take one as well. 156 left here, fourth quarter. 29-25. Justice Tiawa with the lead. You're watching the Ori's Area Tournament on CHSN. I want to thank RCB Bank. They are proud supporters of Justice Tiawa Athletics. Wishing them good luck in the tournament here. Also want to thank JK Dump Trucking and Excavation. If you need any rock, gravel or dirt work, you can call them. Call Jason Copeland at 918-207-8112. That's JK Dump Trucking and Excavation. The Rustic Pearl Wedding and Event Barn is a beautiful venue hidden in the foothills of the Ozarks. It's the perfect place to have your special indoor or outdoor event with a breathtaking and picturesque view. Rustic Pearl is beyond spacious enough to have any event, such as a wedding, Ken Sierra, family reunion, business meeting, or anniversary. 2020 dates are booking fast, so call or text 918-797-4700 for a tour and for more information. Also look us up on Facebook or on our website, rusticpearl.org. Twenty-nine, twenty-five Wildcats. Winner advances to the championship Thursday evening here at Marietta. And they'll take on the winner of Marietta and Grandview's boys, who will be our finale of the evening. Marietta's boys are, are, are really good. I've seen them a few times this year, and they're really impressive. Drive baseline, two. Riggs, floater, no good. Bags with the rebound. Over to Pack. Pack. Going to slow it down. Over to Bags, Bags. Back to Pack, grass with the ball. Lost it. Pack, drives, shot, no good. Nice rebound in there by Clark, and now we'll get a timeout. Justice Tywell will get a timeout with 1.15 left here in the fourth quarter. Wildcats 29, Mountaineers 25. You almost got to start fouling here, Brad. Find yeah. the kid you want to foul. Yeah. Extend the game. Yes. And the quicker you do it, the longer the game's going to go. But, you know, Grass has four fouls. Well, he can't be the one. He can't be the one. How old's Bailey? Huh? How old's Bailey? 14. See, so you'll be doing her quinceanera next year. <laughs> quinceanera? Yeah. Hey, you know what you got to do? I don't know if you know it. I don't know. It. Hey, have you ever watched that movie? That the, it's, the, it's the one they talk about the coach that uh, coaches the track team, the cross-country team in California. I forgot the name of it. Huh? McFarlane. That's right. Clark inside, got it. That's 17 for Clark. 31-25. You're brushing. You got to go. You got to go score. Pull up three. Grass, Good got shot. it. Got a foul now. 
Yeah, you got to foul. You can't. Rushy you, not fouling here. Not can't it can't be if you're grass though. Fouling, just fouling. Going to have a timeout here. Timeout. My goodness. 31-28, three-point lead here for Justice Tiowa, and they got a timeout here on the sideline. So, to me, you almost got to take grass out right here. Because you're going to foul. You got to burn them. Yeah. And then getting back in on the offensive yeah. side. Yeah. Thirty-one twenty. You're right. This one's probably going to go down to the wire here. Again, yeah. again. Next, we got um, Grandview girls and Justice Tiowa girls set to tip. That'll be following this one, and then the finale this evening will be Grandview boys and Marietta boys. And stay with us for that one because Marietta boys are. I haven't seen Grandview, but I know Marietta can play. We played them twice, Jim, and we haven't we haven't we haven't been able to keep it to single digits, put it that way. Thirty-four seconds left. Appreciate all of our viewers this evening. I don't I haven't even checked how many we have on line, but thank you guys. Twenty-four on Facebook. Oxford inbounds. Bally. Teal. Oh, oh. Teal. Good, Lost it. Good job by and Miller. We're jump ball here. Dylan Miller and with a brushy good, ball. excellent job. Brushy ball. Possession arrow will go to Brushy. So now Brushy with the basketball. Yance. Yancey Grass with the ball. Going to get a timeout here. Christopher going to set up some offense. With 27 seconds left here, 31-28. Justice Tawa with the lead. Man, we've had a lot of streams this evening, hadn't we? Time is it? Five nineteen. Well, we got about seventy viewers online, both streams. Seventy viewers. Yeah. Yeah. Do what, what you, Andrew? Urchison in the ball game now for Brushy, number four. Give it to Pack right there. Go get go go. Pack, grass with the ball. Twenty seconds left. Grass dribbles through traffic, and we're gonna get a whistle here. Call we're foul. Gonna, we're gonna get a foul, and that's gonna be bonus time for the Mountaineers. So, Grass will be at the line to shoot a one and one here, with 14 seconds left. Jimbo, right there with that much time left, you almost want to get it and go to the bucket. And then if you get foul on your shot and you make it, then you can tie it, but you're still going to be down one if you just get it two. Yeah, you don't want but, to. You don't but want you don't to need a three there. But you get a foul, now you're going to the line. But, you know, when you're down, it's best to score when the clock's not running. Well, yeah. Unless he, what happens if he drove and hit a layup right there? Well, I mean, come on. Grass at the line. Free throw is good. Thirty-one twenty-nine. Press the line. He'll get one more. Free throw is good. One point lead. Got a foul. Got a foul. And they do. You got a foul again. That's a, that's only six. So it'll be Wildcat basketball 
underneath. I looked, what's number 11 over there? <laughs> and they do. And they're gonna, we're gonna get a timeout. Timeout on the floor, 11 seconds left here. Ori's area tournament, 31-30, Justice Tiowa with the lead. It's been a, it's been a, this kind of game we thought it was gonna be. We thought it was gonna go down to the wire. I want to thank RCB Bank this evening. They are a proud, a proud supporter of Justice Tiowa Athletics, and they wish the Wildcats good luck at the Ori's Area Tournament. That's RCB Bank. That's my bank. That's my bank. Also, J&K Dump Trucking and Excavation. If you need rock, gravel, or dirt, call Jason Copeland at 918-207-8112. Stolen. Grass to the bucket. No good. Miller comes flying in. It's going to be out of bounds off of the Wildcats. So the Mountaineers wow. here are going to get a timeout, and they will have the ball with 5.8 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. So another opportunity here wow. for, <laughs> for Brushy. Hey, it's what yeah. you want, though. It's, exactly it's your ball. You, you got the ball underneath your basket, and you're you're wanting to. You're down one. It's what you want. Brushy School is a dedicated to providing a strong academic curriculum as well as many extracurricular activities that help provide a variety of experiences while attending our school. Brushy School promotes excellence in all we do. We would like to wish our team luck as they go forward in the Ori's area tournament. Brushy rocks. Brushy basketball here. Both communities can be proud of their basketball teams here tonight. They both battle. Great job. And you'll see a little 2-3 zone look here from the Wildcats on the inbound. Call the foul. Another Hold whistle. And now we'll get a one and one here. Yeah, he held we'll get a one and one. And it's going to be Grass at the line for Brushy. So Grass with an opportunity here to tie the game or give the Mountaineers the lead here with 5.8 left. Grass at the line, one and one. First shot is good. We're tied. <laughs> Mountaineers. With six team fouls, and the Wildcats will take a timeout, and we will as well. 31-31, 5.8 left. We got a good one. You're watching the Ori's Area Tournament on CHSN. Yeah, if you if you hit this right here, you still want to put token pressure on. Right. And me, I don't want 24 with the ball in his hands. The first guy. From what I've seen tonight for uh, Justice Tawa, uh, Riggs is as far as from baseline point to baseline. A to point B, yeah. Yep. Yeah, he's fastest player that, on the that's, court. That's yep. who you want with the ball. So grass at the line, he'll shoot one more, 31-31. If he makes this, the, Wild, the the Mountaineers will have their first lead in some time since I think, what, the second quarter? Yeah, early in the second quarter. Second shot on the way, short. But he gets a roll, 32-31. And you'll see token Go pressure, and they turn it over. Wildcats turn it over, it'll be Mountaineer basketball.
Timeout on the floor, 3.8 left here. As you see the Mountaineer fans on their feet. What hey, a game. But one thing I'll say about that play right there uh, for the Riggs kid, he was coming back towards the baseline and caught the ball. He done the right thing. He just threw it behind the guy breaking in, and the guy breaking in wasn't expecting to get the ball back. You know, because he was catching the ball going away from his basket. You want it, you know, he wanted to get it going towards, and he done the right thing. Thirty-two, thirty-one. Mountaineers with the lead. <laughs> well, Jim, you you guessed it spot on in the first half when you said this one's going to go down to the wire. Hey, I'm good. At, I'm good at them predictions, buddy. And remember, following this one, we will have Grandview and Justice Tiawa girls action. They will start. They will tip. Following this one, we'll take a quick break, and we'll be back for that one for all you Grandview fans and. Wildcat, Lady Wildcat fans. <coughs> Just got to get it in. Yeah. And they're going to be a jump ball here as yeah. Hunter Pack just held the ball. And now Justice Tewall will. Hey, it's still not a bad thing. Well, it burned some time off the clock, yeah. so the only good thing about it. You can't <coughs> foul if you're brushy here. Now you want. To me, you want them. Yeah. He's got it up. At the buzzer, no good. Mountaineers win. Final score, 32-31. Brushy Mountaineers with the win. And they will advance to Thursday evening's hey, got some stats, buddy. championship game here at Marietta. As that was a heartbreaker for the Wildcats. Good job there by Coach Christopher and the Mountaineers as they will win in advance. We'll go over some stats now. Yeah. Uh, Justice was led by uh, Clark. He had 17 points, and he had uh, five boards and one steal. Uh, Oxford had uh, five points and one board. Uh, Riggs, Riggs, he come on in that second half. He, he actually wound up with six points and uh, one rebound and one steal. Uh, Teal also had two points and six boards and three steals. Uh, Titus Eubanks had one point. Uh, the Brushy Boys was led by Grass. He had 17. He, ma he matched Clark, and, and, and that's what it was. In that fourth quarter, it was them. You know, they both were leading their teams. Yeah. Okay. Pack had eight. Lee had two. Miller had two. Urchinson had three. Boards, you had Lee with five. Miller with five. Bags with four. And then you had Pack and Urchinson both with two. And you had bags with two steals, and you had uh, grass bags and Urchinson both. All three had a block in the game. Great game. Great game. Excellent game. Great game. Better than some of the high school games we see. Oh, some are. Hey, I mean, which we we do games for Sequoia, and which they we got great basketball. And they uh, they are the number one yeah. ranked girls. Uh, and their team. boys teams are, are yeah. at state tournament almost yeah, every year. Yeah, they're they're top I'm ten. <laughs> Coach Heron. And the boys' team is excellent. But our girls' game so hey, far, we've done But we've done, done some basketball good. games in the past, though, oh, that's just been oh, my just almost sleepers. Oh, my goodness. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back for the tip. Grandview Lady. Hmm. We know we got the Lady Wildcats of Justice Tawa. We'll figure out what the Grandview Lady um, – what's their, what's their team mascot? What's their net mascot? Chargers, Lady Chargers. So our boys game is Marietta Grandview, right? Yes. Yep. We'll be back after a few words. You're watching the Ori's Area Tournament on CHSN.
Jimbo. Good job. I'll see you, buddy. Be good. Jimbo, number uh, number 11 out there starting for Grandview is a sixth grader. Abby Combs. You don't see that very often. Lady Chargers control the tip. It's looped, number 14. Luck. Loose ball. The Lady Chargers get it here, Luck. Gonna get knocked out of bounds. Good hands over there by number one, Shellhorn. For Justice Tiawa. Now we're gonna whistle in a foul, and it's gonna be on Shellhorn, number one. And it'll be Grandview basketball. High post, knocked away, stolen. To the bucket layup is no good, but good offensive rebound there by Vanaman, number 15. Three-pointer, way off. Rebound. Vanaman shot up, no good. Another shot by Vanaman, no good. And Combs will collect the rebound for Grandview. Combs will bring it up the floor. Did you ever figure out where Grandview actually is? I haven't. I'll look it up, though. It, is it in Tahlequah? Out by, by the airport, he said. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> it's not a Holbert or Shady Grove. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's on the north side. Okay. Shot on the way, no good. Loose ball collected by Shellhorn up to Vanaman. To the bucket. She's going to get fouled on the drive. It'll be on the floor. And it'll be Lady Wildcat basketball here. 4.43 left, opening quarter. Three-pointer, short. Foul inside, going to be off the ball. I think it's going to be on number 24. That's uh, Lara for Grandview. It'll be her first. Pass, inbound, stolen. Lady Chargers back up the floor. That's Luck. 16-footer, no good. Loose ball inside, collected by the Lady Wildcats. And stolen by Luck. Combs, three-pointer, no good. Long rebound. Collected by Grandview. That's McElpine. And now we got a timeout on the floor. Well, just man. <laughs> let her lay there with the ball. I mean, <laughs> oh, you got to tie it up. Got to jump down in there in that pile, don't you? Timeout on the floor, 408 left here, opening quarter. Still have a scoreless ball game. Appreciate our sponsors tonight, RCB Bank. They are a proud supporter of Justice Tiowa Athletics, and they wish the Wildcats and the Lady Wildcats good luck in the area tournament. 
That's my bank, Jim. Also, JK Trucking and Excavation. If you need rock, gravel, or dirt hauled, call Jason Copeland at 918-207-8112. That's JK Dump Trucking and Excavation. It's Jason Copeland. Give him a call. Follow Jason. Lady Wildcats inbound it. Lady Wildcats led by Michael Fraley. Coaches the boys team as well. Does a good job. It's good quality. They, they're a good basketball team. Pass inside. Shellhorn no good. And we'll get a loose ball foul here. Over the back. Number 35 in the game. Combs up the sideline is going to draw the foul on number 20, Cookson. It'll be Grandview basketball here. 344 left here, first quarter. Combs, three, no good, long rebound. Nice job, McElpine can't get it to go. And we have a loose ball inside, and we're going to have a tie-up situation here. Lara was in there for Grandview. And it'll be Lady Wildcat basketball. Vanaman walks it up for Justice Tower. Pass inside. Back out. Three-pointer on the way. No, no good. Combs with the rebound. Hey, that done everything but go in, didn't it? Yep. Combs back up the floor. She's going to pull up from 25, way off, out of bounds. It'll be Lady Wildcat basketball. 3.03 left here, opening quarter. Vanaman walks it up. Over to Cookson. Cookson, Vanaman sharing the basketball. Vanaman pull up shot, got it. Annabelle Vanaman. For the Wildcat, for the Lady Wildcats. A little backcourt pressure here from Justice Tawa. And Grandview gets through it. Shot by Lara. It's going to be saved out of bounds. It's going to be Lady Wildcat basketball. Combs really, really quick. Really quick. Yeah, Combs a sixth grader also. Pass inside, back out. Vanaman's going to get fouled on the shot, and she will go to the charity stripe for Justice Tawa. So the brushy Lady Mountaineers have punched their ticket into the championship Thursday evening, and the brushy Mountaineers as well. Lady Mountaineers will take on the winner of this one. And the Mountaineers will take on the winner of Marietta and Grandview's boys, who will be up next. Vanaman at the line. Misses. 3-0, Lady Wildcats. Back up the floor, nice pass inside. Bucket is good for Emery Woody. Number 10 for the Lady Wildcats. And we'll get a timeout on the floor. 150 left here, opening quarter. 5 nothing, Lady Wildcats. You're watching the area, the Ori's area championships on CHSE. Who put that? Brad. Hey, what's up, Brad Pack? Brad Pack's watching tonight. Yeah. 
one thing Grandview's struggled with so far is just getting good looks. Right. Yeah, just trying to end right now, just trying to get in an offensive set. Yeah, I mean, just – which that's the defense from Justice Tower. You know, they, they've done a good job. Vanaman, pass inside. Good defense there by Combs as she gets the steal. And she's going to be on the baseline, out of bounds. And it'll be Lady Wildcat basketball here. Travel here on the Lady Wildcats. Still got a pretty good crowd in here, Brad. Yeah. Oh, they'll marry at a boys game next game. It'll be, it'll be pretty full, I would assume. Going to get a whistle here and a foul on the drive. And that'll send number 10 to the line, Natalie Page, for Grandview. Number 25 up, Tara Dye to set the check in for the Lady Chargers. Excuse me, number 15. Elena. McElpine. She gets an open look, no good. Rebound by Howard, and it's going to be out of bounds. Excuse me, not Howard. Gibson. It's going to be out of bounds. It's going to be Justice Tyo of basketball here. 108 left here, opening quarter. 5 nothing. Lady Wildcats. You know, right now, if you're just Grandview, you just want to see the ball go through the hoop. You go, it goes through the hoop, you know, who knows? You know, it's, a, it's, it's just like a shooter, you know. Shot, no good. Nice look, though, by Vanaman. Pass up the floor. Page going to get fouled on the shot. So Page will go to the line for Grandview. And right here could be the difference, you know. Just see the ball go through the basket. Hit a free throw right here. Right. Hit a free throw and Page at the line, first shot, no good. Pokerney checking in for Justice Tawa. Shot off the glass is good for Page. Page gets one of two. And that free throw is brought to you by JK Dump Truck and Excavation. It's on the screen, Jim. I just wing it. Ball knocked out of bounds. It's going to stay with Justice Tawa. Hey, if you put it up, I'm going to say it. <laughs> Cookson, ball knocked away. Good defense by Page, and it's going to be out of bounds. Smart play right there by Van Man. That ball was actually out, off of her to begin with, and she threw it off of uh, Page as she was going out of bounds. Ball knocked away, stolen by McElpine. Back up the floor, and Vanaman's going to knock Page to the ground. Page has been <laughs> fouled three times in three consecutive possessions for Grandview. Six fouls now on Justice Howard. McElpine looks. Ball knocked away, stolen. Gibson. And it's going to be out of bounds off of the Lady Wildcats. Page. Whistle here. We've got another foul. Okay, so be Page, one and one. Page is going to get fouled again. And Page will go to the line for Grandview. You said Justice Ty was from up around Claremore? Mm -hmm. I believe so. First shot is good off the glass by Paige. Paige got that, she's got that, she's got the, the RCB bank is yeah, open. Yeah, the bank, the bank shot. The RCB bank shot is open on Saturday evening here. That's her bank. Second shot, good. 
5-3. Lady Wildcats shot at the buzzer off for Vanaman. And that's the end of the first quarter here for Marietta. Justice Tawa, Lady Wildcats 5, Grandview Lady Chargers 3. You're watching the Ori's Area Tournament on CHSN. Oh, okay. Between Justice and Tawa. It's kind of like Ulaga to Lala, but different. No, it's just Ulaga to Lala is a lot bigger. <laughs> well, Ulaga is, to yeah, is yeah, not. Yeah. Yeah, kind of like, almost like, like a Thomas Faye Custer thing, huh? Yeah, how, what is that? Thomas, is it Faye and Custer? Yeah, Thomas Faye Custer. Thomas Faye Custer. Thomas Faye Custer. Okay. I see. Hey, we're about to playoff time. This is the playoffs. Well, I mean, even in high school oh, basketball. Oh, yes, we are. A has the district assignments came out yet? Uh, no, I don't. I, they probably have. I don't know. Uh, uh, Marcus is kind of hard to get hold of right now. He went back to teaching, teaching some math, class. Uh, yes. <laughs> Andrew's going to do some research for us. Paige shot. I think it was partially deflected by Vanna Man. Might have got it again. Shot inside by Lucked, no good. Loose ball tipped around. McElpine throws it up, no good. Shot by Lara, no good. And Gibson finally clears the rebound, and we'll get a whistle here and a jump ball. Well, they got their shots, didn't they? They did get some looks. Vanaman back up the floor. Through traffic, lost it, and she will travel. Man, man, she's she's their go-to. It looks like she is. Yeah, a good ball handler with her, with right and left hand handles the ball very well. Looked, brings it up. Page, Luck, three-pointer, no good. Long rebound, collected by Porkney. Oh, knocked away and stolen. Both teams playing a little sloppy here. Combs outside. Pass to Lara. Her shot off the side of the backboard, no good. Ball stolen. Vanaman to the bucket. Can't get the left hand lay in. And Page back up the floor for Grandview. Luck for three short. Off the front iron, out of bounds. It'll be Justice Tiowa basketball here. 4.31 left, second quarter. Lady Wildcat basketball. Little backcourt pressure here. We're going to get a reach here on number 14, Kylie Luck for... Grandview. You know, on that last three-point shot, she didn't even have her feet set. You got to get your feet set. It's going to be a turnover here on Vanaman. Right now, Grandview's defense is keeping them in the ball game, Brad. Number two checking in for Grandview. Aliyah Freeman, and she is a sixth grader also. She looks the part, unlike Combs. We've got a whistle here and a jump ball. Grandview basketball. Weissman also in the game for Justice. We get a whistle and a foul here on number 20, Cookson. And that'll send Abby Combs to the line for Grandview. Free throw is good. Hey, 
Second shot off. And it's going to be out of bounds. It's going to be, I think it's a tie-up. Tie-up, ball goes to Justice Tyler. Gibson, I tell you what, this pressure from Grandview is doing, it's really done a, they've really done a great job yeah. eliminating the offense here of the Lady Wildcats as Cookson dribbles up. Ball knocked away, stolen, Combs. And Combs looks ahead, over the head of Luck there, out of bounds. Maybe if she'd have kept running there, she might have had a layup. Yeah. Bannerman, nice pass, and Gibson couldn't control it, and it's going to be out of bounds. It's going to be Grandview basketball here. 3.45 left, second quarter. Pass deflected. Inside, shot off the glass, no good. Combs with the rebound. Her putback's no good, but she does draw the foul and number 11 Abby Combs will go to the line for Grandview. Combs at the line, first shot is good. Number three checking in, Chisler. Second shot off the glass. RCB Bank. In the bank. Vanaman back up the floor. Nice pass. Shot blocked. Out of bounds. Nice defense there by number 12, Emily McElpain. See number 10, Natalie Page checking back in for Grandview. Gibson. Pass inside. Vanaman, left hand can't get it. Loose ball. Page comes up with it. And Page will handle it for Grandview. Combs, nice drive. Shot blocked by Gibson. Stolen. Combs. Off the glass. Got it. Abby Combs. That's three steals for Combs now, Brad. Back up the floor, shot Got blocked block. by Holmes. And we'll get a whistle here and a loose ball foul on Vanaman. Combs didn't know where she was at right there or she would have pulled that down with no problem after that block. So we'll see number 25 at the line for Grandview. Die. Tara Dye. First shot, no good. They're in the double bonus. Double bonus with six minute quarters. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a lot of fouls. Yeah. Second shot is good for Dye. They, they've actually done a pretty good job of shooting the free throws tonight. Yeah. Even though they've used the bank on several of them. Yes. We're gonna whistle here. And we're going to get a foul here in the backcourt on Page. And that'll be the fifth team foul on Grandview. Bannerman dribbles it out, almost out of bounds. She saves it. And Luck gets the ball and makes the lay-in. Nice play there. Kylie Luck. That's her fourth steal. Timeout. Going to whistle on a timeout here on the floor. 2.29 left here. Second quarter, 11-5, Grandview Lady Chargers. You're watching the Ori's Area Tournament on CHSN. The Rustic Pearl Wedding and Event Barn is a beautiful venue hidden in the foothills of the Ozarks. It's the perfect place to have your special indoor-outdoor event with a breathtaking and picturesque view. Rustic Pearl is beyond spacious enough to have any event, such as a wedding, in Sierra, family reunion, business meeting, or anniversary. 2020 dates are booking fast. Call or text 918-797-4700 for a tour and for more information. 
Also, look us up on Facebook and on our website, rusticpearl.org. You know, I bet you I know where these Justice Tywa people had lunch at today on the way in. I know where I would have had lunch at. Oh, come through Locust Grove, buddy. And got oh, yeah. <laughs> Ate me some buffet at the Do you old think that's the way they came? Over on 412? That's the way I would have come. Yeah, probably so. Yeah. I would bet. Heck, Jim, it may be open on the way back. <laughs> <laughs> Two twenty nine left here. Second quarter. Andrew's got fourth quarter up there. We don't know why. It's not it's not the it's not the boys scoreboard game here. He's reminding us. This score this new scoreboard is getting stumped. Traveling violation here. And, Good. and ever since Grandview has went to this pressure defense, they have I don't know if Justice Tyle was scored. They hadn't. Coach Summer Cunningham of Grandview doing an excellent job coaching these girls up defensively. And it's going to be out of bounds after the double save attempt by Grandview. No, they. Vanaman brings it up the floor. Pass Gibson. Going to get fouled on the floor. Van Man, she's just got to slow down a little bit. She, she, she handles the ball excellent, but she just gets playing too fast. Which I guess that's, that's part of this age, is it not? Elena McElpain back in the ball game. Pass inside, Gibson off the glass, got it. Good shot there by Gibson. It's 11-7. Lady Wildcats in the 2-3 zone here. Combs at the free throw line, no good. Offensive rebound put back no good, and a loose ball. Page comes up with it. Ball blocked. Vanaman comes up. And she races it up the floor, and she's going to get fouled on the drive. And that'll be a one and one for Annabelle Vanaman for the Lady Wildcats. First shot is good. Who scored that last bucket for them, do you remember? Gibson. Okay. Number 35. Second shot on the way, and she gets it. Good job by Vanaman. And that cuts it to a two-point lead here. Page back up the floor. High post, Combs. Freeman, Combs. Good move by Combs, going to get the bucket. And the foul, Abby Combs. Jimbo, when she's an eighth grader, she's going to be difficult to uh, to defend. Yeah. Free throw, no good. Rebound by Schisler. Jump ball. Number three, and we'll have a jump ball here. It's Grandview's ball, too. Page will inbound. We get a traveling violation here. It'll be a turnover on the Lady Wildcats. Yeah, that, since they put that pressure on, man, it just speeded them up, and, and, and they just had, had bad turnovers. Page drives baseline, shot, no good. That's gonna be We're getting a loose ball foul here. I believe Combs. that's on Combs. Vanaman hit the floor hard. I'll we'll see Vanaman at the line for I don't. Justice Tiowa. We're good. Thanks. Thank you. Vanaman at the line. Poor 
Kelly, Wildcats. He throw no good, loose ball. Lara comes up with it. Bannerman steals it. She's going to drive to the paint, shot up off the glass, no good, but she's going to get fouled on the shot. And Bannerman will go back to the line for the Lady Wildcats. She is a, she's a pretty good player. Yes. I say she just gets a little bit out of control yeah. with pressure. But that's eight. That's that's. But, but that's honestly, junior high she, yeah, and she, and she handles the ball good with yeah. her left hand, yeah. both hands. So Banna man at the line, first shot, no good, short. Number twelve checking back in. Emily McElpine. <coughs> Second shot off. Rebound by Elena McElpine over there in the corner. It'll be Grandview basketball. 105 left here, second quarter. Trying to get the possession arrow straightened out. No, the last one was down here. Yeah, so it should be just as tie will basketball. Yeah, this lady down here in front of me, she's got this right. Does she? Yeah. She, she, she's doing her job. Pass inside, shot up, no good. Nice rebound by Gibson, and her putback is good. Tony Gibson doing a good job there for the Lady Wildcats. A couple buckets here in the second quarter. And Paige back up the floor for Grandview. Jumper, McElpine, no good. Rebound, Vanaman, and she's going to push it up the floor. Over the head of... Shellhorn out of bounds. Yeah, she, she's going to be a good basketball player. Vanderman. Some summer work, you know, handling the ball, control. Three pointer, no good. Page, loose ball, Vanderman. Went off of her. Went off of her last. Yeah, yes. Yes, it went off her last. Stay with the Lady Chargers here. 21 seconds left. McElpine off. Gibson ahead, Vanaman. Into the paint, shot no good. Loose ball and Combs and Vanaman race for it. Good hustle by Vanaman. It's going to be out of bounds. It's going to be Grandview basketball. She changes, for her age, she changes direction very well, too, off the dribble. Time out on the floor. 5.4 seconds left here, second quarter. Lady Chargers 13, Lady Wildcats 11. Rushy School is dedicated to providing a strong academic curriculum as well as many extracurricular activities that help provide a variety of experiences while attending our school. Rushy School promotes excellence in all we do. We would like to wish our team luck as they go forward in the Ori's Area Tournament. Brushy rocks. She must have hit her head, do you think? I don't know. But she's up. She might be tired. She has put a lot of effort out for the Lady Wildcats. Five seconds, you know, yeah. So it'll be Grandview basketball here. Page, Lara inside Combs, no good. Rebound Lady Wildcats, and that'll do it for the first half here from Marietta Public Schools. Grandview Lady Chargers 13, Justice Tiowa Lady Wildcats 11. You're watching the Ori's Area Tournament on CHSN. We'll be back after a word from our sponsors.
We want to thank RCB Bank this evening. They're a proud supporter of Justice Tiowa Athletics. And they wish the Wildcats and the Lady Wildcats good luck in the area tournament. Also want to thank J&K Dump Trucking and Excavation. If you need rock, gravel, or dirt, call Jason Copeland at 918-207-8112. That's J&K Dump Truck Service and Excavations. The Rustic Pearl Wedding and Event Barn is a beautiful venue hidden in the foothills of the Ozarks. It's the perfect place to have your special indoor or outdoor event with a breathtaking and picturesque view. Rustic Pearl is beyond spacious enough to have any event such as weddings, Kia and Sarah's, family reunions, business meetings, or anniversaries. 2020 dates are booking fast. Or call or text 918-797-4700 for a tour or for more information. Also, look us up on Facebook and also on our website, rusticpearl.org. We're back here. Jim, you got any stats to go over for the first half? Yes, Grandview was led by Combs with seven. Page had three. Luck had two. Die had one. Uh, Emily 
McAlpine had four rebounds. You had Combs with two, Page with two, and Laura with two. You had uh, Combs had three steals, Luck had four. Uh, Justice Ty was, was led by Van Man with uh, five. And then you had Gibson with four. And then you had Woody with two. Van Man also had five rebounds. Luck, three-pointer, no good, rebound. Stolen by Combs, shot no good. And then finally, Woody comes up with it. She's going to pass it ahead. Vanaman on the run, going to get it deflected out of bounds off of Grandview. It'll be Lady Wildcat basketball here, 529 left here. Third quarter. 13-11, Grandview with the lead. We've got another foul, and it's going to be on Combs. Van Man back out there, so she's she's fine. I think she's gassed. That's what I think. She, yeah, I think she, she, she's probably tired, a little tired. Second personal on Combs. Woody steps into a jumper. Got it. Emery Woody, 16-footer's good. A little backcourt pressure here from the Lady Wildcats. And a good look inside by Lara, and she can't get it to go. Woody. Over to Luck. Luck, Page. Skip pass. Luck for three. No good. Rebound going to be tipped out of bounds Ooh. off of, I think it was off Lara. Out of bounds. It'll be Justice Tyle with basketball here. Good defense there by Page, knocking it out of bounds. Page a good, fast little guard, too. So what? So Bucket's good for uh, Grandview. So you give that to? It should be Grandview's bucket. And to the team. As Vanaman scored. Now Vanaman going to attack her bucket. She's, she's going to go score on both of them. Shot off. Good defense there by Combs. And now Page will bring it up for Grandview. <coughs> I, I got a question 15, on that. I think it should be 15-11. 15, 11. No. Three. No? 15, no. 13? Yeah, 15, 13. Okay, 15, 13. Green. Woody hit the two down here a while ago. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. 13. Yep. 15, 13. The question I have. Grandview. The question I have, okay. Van Man put it in, in the wrong basket, okay. So why wouldn't Grandview get the ball back? Get the points plus get the ball. You see what I'm saying? Instead of because the bucket was scored for Grandview, so it would be if the bucket scored for Grandview. No matter, no matter how it's scored, it's just as tie with basketball. Okay, I, that's what I think. What do you think? You're probably right. I'm just I'm just throwing a question for you. You know, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Since she scored it, you we had Grandview. never had nothing like that happen on that before. So you know, I was just curious. That's a good that, – that's maybe something to look at the NFHS rule book and see. Yeah. Inside, shot up and in, and the basket will count for number 10. Woody, Woody. Got, got inside there. She, good she position. Got, yeah. Hey, have you have you noticed the dollar bills up there on the backboard? Yeah. No, I haven't, but I do now. Free throw, no good. Going to get a jump ball inside. Grandview's ball. I wonder if they're dollars or they're 20s or what. Oh, maybe hundreds. Hey, if they're 20s, we might have Terry crawling up there and getting us some for supper tonight. You better get that dude a, <laughs> you better get that dude a ladder. <laughs> or some type, of, some type of lift truck. <laughs> you mean you ain't going to let him stand on your back? No. going <laughs> to be out of bounds. It'll stay with Grandview here. 358 left. I've never seen that before, though. Have I've you? Either. No. Shot 
Shot, good, Page with the bucket. Bannerman uh, back up the floor, Gibson. It's gonna get fouled going to the bucket. It's gonna be on number 25, Tara Dye for Grandview. on number 10, legal pick. Woody. She, she hit that girl pretty hard in the back right there, too. See number four up off the bench. Porkney. Mm -hmm. Going to get a travel here on Emily McElpine. Andrew should be seven. Yeah, we sh Granby should be 17. That's the fourth. That's the fourth personal, I believe, on number 10, Woody. So she will go to the bench for Justice Tiowa. Vanaman, long three pointer, no good. Shellhorn. Porkney. Shot blocked by Combs. Now the Lady Chargers are going to run it up the floor. Vanderman gets the steal, though. And Vanderman's going to get fouled on the sideline. So it'll be Lady Wildcat basketball here. 319 left third quarter. Porkney. Bounce pass, Woody blocked by Combs. She's just having a swap fest right now. <laughs> <laughs> the sixth grader. Bannerman three pointer. Gonna get fouled on the. Actually, gonna. I think we're gonna get a. Uh, maybe a moving pick here. On who? On what number? I think it was on. The only one I seen down there was was. Twenty. Gibson. That's four on her. But it is on 20. That's Cookson, her fourth. Yeah. So Woody and Cookson both with four personal fouls. Stolen. Chisler up ahead. Vanaman going to get fouled on the shot. So Annabelle Vanaman will go to the line for just as Tywa. Shot no good. 24 up off the bench hill. Al Al Alma Lara for Grandview, along with number 12, Emily McElpine. Someone take off with their probe out there? Someone lift it? Is it gone? Pack up, pass back up the floor. Aquapine, no good. Combs, rebound. So Combs going to go to the line for Grandview. Whistle before the shot. She's on the line, so that won't count. She's standing on the foul. Yeah. Foul line. Second shot on the way, way off. And it'll be Justice Tiowa basketball here. 17 16. Lady Chargers, Gibson. Shellhorn lost it, and it's going to go out of bounds. Is it gone? Oh. It'll stay with the Lady Wildcats. Somebody steal the magic wand outside? I was, that's what I was thinking, but 
Andrews said it's still there, so. Vanaman, Shellhorn. Going to be off the hands of Lara, out of bounds. And it'll be Lady Wildcat basketball here. 2.30 left, third quarter. 17-16, Lady Chargers with the lead. Lob pass inside, blocked by Lara. Gibson comes up with it, and she's just smothered by Lady Chargers down underneath, and we'll get a jump ball situation. Schisler, Vanaman drives, he's gonna get fouled on the drive. Vanaman, very, very aggressive <coughs> to the bucket. And she will go to the line for Justice Tawa. Can tie it up right here with one. She'll, she'll shoot two. First shot is good. Page checking in for Grandview. Second shot, no good. Rebound Combs. And Combs is going to throw it ahead. Lucked to the bucket. Gets it. Nice job there. Nineteen seventeen. Lady Chargers. Vanaman with the ball. She races up the floor, stolen by Page. Page, nice pass ahead. Luck to the bucket, gets it, and the foul. Number 14, Kylie Luck goes to the line for the Lady Chargers. That play was sparked by Page right there, making a great play defensively. She's a good little guard, Brad. She really is. I mean, she's – what? what is her grade? Did you see that? She no. She's a seventh grader. Page. Should be back next year. Shot inside, good for Combs. Yeah, should be back next year, Jimbo. Yeah. <coughs> Schisler back up the floor. Oh, what a yeah. legal pick, boy. She had to come up. Yeah, she, she got the arm extension, too. Yeah, you see that? Yeah, yeah. Hey, that, that, that would have got you in college football. That got you put in the locker room right there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she, she said a good one right there, buddy. One thirty left here, third quarter. 23-17, Grandview. Page with a runner off the side of the backboard, out of bounds. Vanaman, back up the floor. Dribble drive, Porkney, going to get fouled. And she will go to the line for the Lady Wildcats to shoot two. Number four, Brianna. Porkney. Is it good? So it's switching back and forth. Okay. Hmm. Porkney at the line, second shot no good. Combs comes up with it. She's going to race up the floor, and she's going to get fouled here by Vanaman. Not a good spot there. Number two, Freeman, check, waiting to check in. She, just, she almost got flattened. Good job there by Luck. She's going to get a breather for the Lady Chargers. Freeman, while well knocked away. Good hustle by Vanaman, but she's gonna get she's gonna pick up the foul. 
Bantam Ann, a very competitive player. Yeah, and that's four now. She's got to be, she's really yep. got to be careful. We've got Shellhorn off the bench here for Justice Tawa. She's going to check in for Bantam Ann. Lair at the line. Free throw, no good. Loose ball, Lair comes up with it, can't make the shot. Pokerney lost it. Combs ahead of the pack. Lay-in is good. Combs Abby is Combs. up to 11 points now. Going to get a whistle, and we're going to get a foul on the sideline. I believe that's going to be on number 12, Emily McElpine. Graham, you're doing a good job at extending their lead out. Coach Cunningham done a good job with instilling this pressure early in the ball game. Yeah, first first few minutes of the game, I suspected the Lady Wildcats were the better team. But yeah. Not as much, though, as Pokerney makes the first one. She'll shoot one more. Second shot, no good. 25-19. Lady Chargers, Freeman, through the bucket, can't get it. We'll get a jump ball here. And it'll be Grandview basketball. Combs gets fouled on the shot. So number 11, Abby Combs will go to the line. Kind of took over in the scoring here a little bit for Grandview. She's a good player. Going to be a real good player. Sixth grader, is that what you said? Yeah, sixth grader. Needs some free throw work, though. She struggled with her free throws. First shot is good. There you go. Abby Combs. Again, stay with us. Following this one, we'll have the Marietta and Grandview boys game. Should be a good one. No, Marietta is very, very talented. Shellhorn, Pokerney, no good. Shellhorn battles for the rebound, but taken away by McElpine. And McElpine races through the pack, and she's going to get fouled on the shot. So Emily McElpine will go to the line for Grandview with 15 seconds left here. A shot no good. Want to give a shout out to everybody out there that's viewing tonight. You know, uh, this is our first time to do a, uh, a junior high event, you know. Nice rebound, and Combs is just kind of taking over a little bit. Combs doing a great job. And she will go back to the line for the Lady Chargers. Third foul on Pokerney. Free throw no good for Combs. She'll shoot one more. No good. Gibson with a rebound. Knocked Combs. away by Combs. Good pass. pass inside Lara. No good. And a double dribble here on the Lady Wildcats. And we'll go back to Grandview here with 4.9 seconds. You know what I'm putting that up for? Four weeks, buddy. Hey. Oh, that's good. Four weeks. I was wondering why you're grouchy still, though. Yeah, I'm still a Freeman at the buzzer, no good. We go to the fourth quarter here from Marietta. Ori's Area Tournament, Grandview Lady Chargers 27, Justice Tiowa, Lady Wildcats 19. You're watching the Ori's Area on CHSN. RCB Bank is a proud supporter of Justice Tiowa Athletics. I want to wish the team good luck during the tournament. That's RCB 
bank. That's my bank. Is it? Yeah, it's my bank. Uh, JK Dump Trucking and Excavation. Need rock, gravel, or dirt work? Call Jason Copeland at 918 207 8112. That's Jason Copeland at JK Trucking and Excavation. The Rustic Pearl Wedding and Event Barn is a beautiful venue hidden in the foothills of the Ozarks. It is the perfect place to have your special indoor or outdoor event with breathtaking and beautiful views. Rustic Pearl is beyond spacious enough to have any event such as a wedding, a quinceanera, a family reunion, business meeting, or an anniversary. 2020 dates are, bo are booking fast. You can call them or text them at 918-797-4700 for a tour. For more information, also look them up on Facebook, on their website at rusticpearl.org. Jim, that is the 15-year female birthday yeah. For, yeah. for girls. Yeah, you're going to have to do that for Spanish. It's a Spanish yeah, heritage. For, for Bailey. But, hey, you got to learn how to dance. Making her passage from girlhood to womanhood. Yeah. So you, there you go. you got to you got to learn because the dad's got to dance with the daughter. Well, I can do it. A, a, and the daughter can't turn him down either. Have you heard about – have you heard of this guy named Michael Jackson? Uh, My moves are reminiscent <laughs> of his. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Hey. Hey. If you if you do what he done, we're gonna be calling an ambulance for you, buddy. <laughs> Shell horn at the line. First shot is good. Hey Jim, we want to thank um, Chad Harp also out here at Marietta Public Schools. He's the principal uh, for getting us out here, and uh, appreciate him for for getting us involved in this. And of course, I was gonna be involved because my son played earlier, so I was gonna be here watching it. But even better when we can bring you these great junior high tournaments, especially Ori's to. Uh, you know, all of our viewers. I think we even have some Sequoia viewers on this evening watching it. So I'm sure we got yeah. some. I got. I'm sure we got some of our followers that follow us all season long out there. Probably got some from Salisaw too. Brad Pack. Yeah. Brad, Brad Pack. Pack. Yep. He follows us a lot. He does. There's your wife back. I thought she left you. No, she stayed with me. Through the hard times. <laughs> Page at the line for Grandview. It was Bailey that left, wasn't she? Bailey, she, yes. She left the when moment. things get tough, she leaves. Yeah, yeah. She's Her shot good for Page. Andrew with this great internet he's figured out today. He's, he's had his work cut out for him today, Brad. Well, you know, a lot of places we go anymore, Jim, we – We've already been there, and we know what kind of internet we have. Yes. But, but these different gyms, and Andrew, you might as well get ready. If we go to the area tournament, we don't know where it's going to be or, you know, regionals or area. Which regionals may be at, you know, last year it was at Sequoia. So it's possible it could be there again. Hope so. Lair with the steal. You, you almost, Brad, you, for the high school stuff, you, you almost have to have it at Sequoia because it's either probably at Sequoia or Adair in which, you know, Sequoia's got the bigger venue. You know, I mean, but that that's almost where you're going to have to wind up being. Have you ever been to Adair's, Jim? No, but I figure it's pretty small. Almalera at the line for Grandview. First shot, no good. Kylie Luck checking in. Grandview's struggling with her free throws here of late, kind of letting Justice hang Kyle around. Yep, hang, hang around. around. You don't want to do that. Second shot, no good. Combs going to bat it out of knock it out of bounds. Well, she just beats her girl every time it seems like on the rebound. I mean, she just stepped inside her right there twice in a row. Ball knocked away. Luck to the bucket. Can't get it. Rebound Shellhorn. Gibson gets it. Just pressure everywhere. 
Shizzler going to take an extra step here and travel. You're going to have to get and probably probably try to go another minute without Van Man. And then they'll get her back in there. And cut into this lead a little bit with her on the bench, though. Yeah, but for ball handling purposes, you almost got to have her on the court. Paige with the ball outside, doing a good job handling the basketball. She's, she's going to get fouled out here behind the three-point line. And she's going to go to the line. Both teams now. Both teams already in the bonus. But it'll be double bonus yeah, for, for Grandview as Natalie Page will shoot some free throws for Grandview. First shot no good. And this is where they're getting back. To. Grandview was making their free throws earlier, and now they're missing them. Second shot on the way, got it. So Page makes one of two. Makes it a six-point lead, 29-23. Gibson back up the floor for Justice Tiawa and, and Justice Tiawa, and then the pass inside is going to be knocked away, but a foul. Not sure why you're trying to feed Shizzler in there with two defenders on her, but Shizzler will go to the line to shoot some free throws here. Brianna, excuse me, er, Carly Shizzler, number three, first shot. Off the glass, good. And that's an RCB bank. Free throw. The bank has been open a lot tonight. Hasn't that's it? my bank. <laughs> RCB bank. <laughs> Proud supporter of Lady Wildcat and Wildcat basketball. Second shot, no good. Loose ball, Gibson oh. gets it and gets a putback. Nice job there by number 35, Tony Gibson. And ball stolen now. Shellhorn's going to shoot it. No good. Rebound inside Gibson again with the pass to Schisler. And it's going to be out of bounds. I'll tell you what, Gibson going to work in there for the Lady Wildcats. 29 26. Thank you for your Coach Cunningham. You might need to get a timeout right here. Ball up the floor. Going to get Page comes up with it. Nice pass. We're going to get a foul here on the floor. It's going to be on Pokerney. And number 21 will check in for the Lady Wildcats. That's Allison Wiseman. That's five on Pokemon. She gone. First shot is no good. I bet you they've only hit two of their last seven, seven or eight free throws, Brad. Second shot on the way, no good. Rebound, Wiseman. Wiseman is going to take an extra dribble here and turn it over, and it'll be Grandview basketball. 29-26, Lady Chargers. Got another barn burner here. Elena McElpine, ball knocked away from Paige as she gets it back. Back to McElpine, pass inside, Combs squares up, shoots, no good. Rebound, Wiseman, excuse me, rebound, Shizzler, and now there'll be a foul here as Tony is going to get fouled and will go to the line for Justice Tiowa. Looks like if you hit your free throws, could you be the winner. Yep. Hey, the bank's open. Use it. Give me a body of candy bar, buddy. I gotta Eat it. A, Eat it. No, I just I don't want it. it. You sure? Yeah. I'm not a Twix guy, but I'm hungry. It's a right Twix, so you should be all right. Uh, right one? Mm -hmm. <laughs> First shot, no good for Tony. She'll shoot one more. Second shot on the way, no good. Combs with the rebound. Tony with a steal. 
McElpine stole it back. Over to McElpine. Sloppy play here. But Kylie Luck will set it up here for the Lady Chargers. Page passes inside. Combs, no good. Tony with the rebound. And we're going to get a jump ball, good aggressive defense there by number 11, Abby Combs. Coach Cunningham going to call a timeout here. Timeout on the floor. We'll take one as well. 3.09 left fourth quarter. 29-26. Lady Chargers with the lead. And you're watching the Ori's area tournament on CHSN. Yeah, what do you got? The coach come over a while ago, but we were. What do you got, Chad? We were a little busy. Oh, you got a hospitality room back there? We'll go back there. We'll go back after this game. Yeah. We'll have to hustle, though. Let's go check it out. What do you say? Yeah, we we'll go check it out. Might have some good old. Chicken. We are connoisseurs of, yeah, yeah, of we, hospitality rooms. We, we got to try things out. We, we got to try things out. 309 left here, fourth quarter. 29 26, Grandview with the lead. Have you have you went to the new uh, grilled cheese place in Southsaw down there where the hero hero was? Mm -mm. I grilled guess cheese. they say a grilled cheese. Is it a truck? Yeah. They, put, uh, they say it's real good, but it's. Coach Fraley. Coach Fraley sticking with Vanaman on the bench right now. Oh. Three pointers good for Luck. Big shot right Big there, 32-26. Lady Chargers. Wiseman lost it out of bounds. It'll be off Combs. And it'll stay with Justice Tiowa. I think right now, if, if you're Coach Fraley, you put Vanaman, you put Woody, Cookson, all those, all of them, all the girls with four fouls, you gotta get them back in the game. Taken away, Luck is going to get fouled here. And she will go shoot some free throws here. She'll shoot two, double bonus. And Luck having a pretty good game here for. Come on here in the second half. Lady Chargers. Not for sure. Uh, Boakman checking in. Did Van Man actually foul out? Van Man? Yeah. She, mm, I don't believe she did. I could be wrong. First shot, no good. There's an official book right here. Yeah, I can't see, though. <laughs> Lara checking back in for Grandview. Luck will shoot one more. Winner of this gets who? Rushy. Championship. Thursday night. We may be broadcasting it. We're not sure yet. Combs, nice play underneath. Abby Combs. She's up to 15, Brad. Pass stolen. Luck on the run out. To the bucket. Can't get it. Combs with the follow. Does. Abby Combs cleaning it up. And a 10-point lead here for Grandview. Gibson, shot off the glass, no good. Luck comes up with it, loses it. Cookson, bounce pass inside. Shellhorn can't get it. It's going to be out of bounds off of Bachman. <coughs> and it's going to be Grandview basketball. 155 left here, fourth quarter. Again, our next game, the finale of the evening. The Marietta Raiders and the Grandview Chargers. Stolen, Shellhorn to the bucket, loses it out of bounds. It's off Grandview. It'll be Lady Wildcat basketball, 140 left, fourth quarter.
going to have a whistle here and a hold. So we're going to get some free throws here for the Lady Wildcats. And we have a that's five on a foul out here by Lara, number 24. So she will go to the bench. Die checks in for Grandview. First shot off. They went to the pressure about halfway through that first quarter, and they were down five to zip. They have outscored them 36 to 21 since that point, Grandview has. Second shot, the, the RCB bank shot wasn't open there on that one. Page, no good. Combs, going to get fouled here on the shot. That's going to be on Gibson. Throw no good for Combs. That's only the first personal on Gibson. If I was one of them ones that had four, I'd been like, hey, she's fouled more than I have. Yeah. Combs is up to 18 points now, Brad. She could wind up with 20 very easy in this ball. How many game. boards? She's got seven boards, five steals, three blocks. Pass, Gibson inside. Back out, Shellhorn shoots it off the glass, no good. Gibson got the rebound. Not sure why she didn't go right back up. She put it on the floor. She gets fouled, so Gibson will go to the line. It's five, five, on, five on Combs. She'll leave the game tonight. She'll have 18 points, seven boards, five steals, and three blocks. Well, I'll tell you what, Granby's, they're using your they're using their fouls this yes. evening. Both teams really are. I think Justice has had three or three or four foul out. First shot good for Tony. Tony Gibson, number 35. Second shot on the way, got it. So Gibson makes both. Makes it a nine-point lead here, 37-28. Page back up the floor. Going to get hammered over here on the sideline by number 24, Bachman. We'll have two shots from now on. Oh, we've had two shots for a while now. Yeah. <laughs> Page at the line, first shot no good. I'd like to know how many fouls has actually been called in this game. Yeah. Well, didn't we get to? There's the official book right there. Didn't we get to double double in the first half? I don't remember. I know one of them got to ten fouls in the first half. Second shot, no good for Page. Rebound. Cookson lost it. Luck made a good, did a good job dribbling the ball before she got up. Very smart play there by Kylie Luck. Grandview going to call a timeout here. 53 seconds left here. Fourth quarter, 37-28. Lady Chargers with the lead. And you're watching the Ori's Area Tournament on CHSN. I think, I think, I think Coach Cunningham, she's going to put in some other girls. You're only up nine. As you've seen in the brushy game. Yeah. Boys game, five points in 20 seconds, as yeah. you know, can happen. Very easy at this age. <laughs> Looked. Going to get fouled out. Up top by number one, Shellhorn. It's going to be her third. So Luck will go to the line with 50 seconds left. Pretty smart, though, Jim. you got to extend the game.
Shot no good. 34. Chloe Wallace in the ball game now, Brad. Getting some minutes, Jimbo. Bodies hitting the floor. Locked up to double figures and points. Shellhorn back up the floor. Pass inside, knocked away, stolen. Luck. McElpine back to Luck. Freeman pass inside, shot up, no good for Die. Freeman with the rebound. Freeman puts it up, no good. Luck with the rebound, no good. Gibson finally gets it, and Shellhorn's got a run out here. Through the bucket, can't get the lay in. Luck comes up with it, and with 15 seconds left, she's going to slow it up, and the Lady Chargers are going to advance to the championship Thursday evening here at Marietta. So the Lady Mountaineers of Brushy and the Grandview Lady Chargers will match up Thursday, and the winner will go to the Ori's State Tournament. Call the foul and Shawnee. I think it was a, was it not a carry? It was it a carry. Have, it might have been. Yeah, carry. Can't carry it. Can't carry the basketball. Can't carry the ball, Andrew. Yeah, can't carry it. Shellhorn will hold it, and that'll do it. Final score, Grandview Lady Chargers 38. Justice Tyler, Lady Wildcats 28. Congratulations to Grandview as they will face the Brushy Lady Mountaineers in the Ori's Area Championship Thursday evening here at Marietta. Jim, you got some stats to go over or you want to? Um, I'll do it right for the other game. If you don't okay. care. It's fine. Me, we're going to take, take a quick break. We'll be back. You're watching the Ori's Area Tournament on CHSN.
Boys matchup here, the Marietta Raiders versus the Grandview Chargers should be a good one. Jim's in the hospitality room still. He'll be in there for a while probably. Good thing he can't hear us right now. Ain't that right, Andrew? He had a healthy plate, didn't he? Yep. Hey, man. Hey, come sit down. Yep. Put your headset on. We're ready to go here. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Jim's in the hospitality room, man. You're gonna join me here. You're gonna be. You're, oh you're, you're gonna goodness. do the color commenta com the color commentary. Hey, it's a good game, man. Hey. Johnson played well. Hey, thank you, thank you. Thank and now you. we got a shot at the winner here. Should be a good one here. We got a lot of, a lot of height on the floor from Grandview. They're long, but, man. But, but we know how Marietta is. Solid. Solid. Solid guard play. Good shooting. Well coached. Well, well coached. coached. Littlefield does a good job with this. Boys. Yes, he does. Good job. Yes, sir. Hey, thanks for joining me, though. You, you rye grass here. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Cameron. Thank you. Me, me and Brad go way back. Uh, played uh, some junior high basketball against played each you. other back yep. in uh, 90 something. Yep, our uh, sons played hey, baseball together yeah. against each other. And now they play basketball together. So, yeah. very good. Marietta controls the tip here. We'll see a zone look here. Shot inside by Hitcher. No good. Rebound Mr. by big Dry number 34. Yep, Darty in there. Back up the floor here, Drywater, Grandview. Drywater, he's a he's a he's a pounder. Twenty four for Grandview. Yes. He, he's a pounder. He will he will go to the rack hard. He'll finish with contact. Look at that. And there he is, Look off the that. glass oh. shot. Good. Number twenty four, Trenton Drywater. He's and Chavez kid. will handle the ball for Marietta. Chavez, is an excellent three. point guard for uh, for the Raiders. Ooh. Pass inside, Tehe. Oh. Ball taken away, number 33, Contreras. Now this this little guard that Grandview's got, a uh, little uh, T. V. Isaiah T. V. Number three, yes. Yeah, he's uh he's he's streaky, man. He's streaky. You gotta keep an eye on him. He will uh, he'll light you up. Here you go. Here you go. T. He three Boom, pointer. What got I it. tell you? What yep. I tell you? Isaiah. <laughs> Isaiah T. He called that one. Good shot, Isaiah. Chavez back up the floor. Now, same thing with these two guys here, man. Number two. Chavez is an excellent point guard. Great ball handler. Yes, yes. You can't press him. You can't. He's too quick. He's one-man press break. He, he is. Chavez. There's a, there's jump stop, pro hop through the lane. Got it. Ah. Nice move by Anthony Chavez, point guard for the Raiders. Now you're going to see a little backcourt pressure here ooh, from ooh, 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 ooh. Marietta. There he goes. Swing across. Lost they, it out of bounds, turnover. They get a little in a hurry, though. Turnover, Grandview. Grand That'd be Marietta basketball. You gonna you're gonna hook him up a headset? Oh, you need your headset back. <laughs> Hitcher, Chavez, Ooh. pass inside Tehe. Kicks it back out. Shot from the baseline, no good for Crawley. Trying, trying to push. And here trying comes to push, Tehe. Trying to push. Ooh. He's going to throw it to Drywater. He's going to drive baseline oh. and get bumped out of bounds. Going to be a blocking foul on the baseline on number 45, Tehe for Marietta. Um, Trenton Drywater, 24, he goes, he goes hard. He, goes he does. Hard. He, he does. Hard. It's the first time I've seen this Grandview team, but they have some good athletes. Yeah, yeah. Drywater, pass inside. Ooh. Back out to Tehe. Find some gaps. There it is. Drywater to the lane. Got it. 
Way to be patient, Grandview. Way to be patient. 7-2, Grandview. Chavez. Crawley over to Hitcher. And he's going to shoot a three-pointer. A little off. Chavez just lost it off his fingertips out of bounds. Don't, don't let number four get rolling. Number four no, will he can shoot. light you up. He's, he's solid. Drywater weaving through traffic into the paint. They right telling you, man, he goes hard. With the timeout on the floor. Mary going to burn one. 7-2 Grandview. Three minutes left here opening quarter. You're watching the Ori's Area Tournament on CHSN. Appreciate it, buddy. I got it. I'm now a, a radio personality. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool when hey, I seen that on Facebook, hey, man. That hey, is it's cool. better than it's better than reffing because you're not oh getting yelled at. Oh my god! You're not getting yelled at, right? Oh goodness, man. <laughs> oh, reffing is right. It, it's yeah. This is great. I'd rather be the guy, the guy yelling. <laughs> Nine two Grandview with the lead. We're back here at CHSN. This finale of the evening. Now, we have the celebrity official here, Mr. George Roach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anybody in eastern Oklahoma, northeastern Oklahoma, if you don't know George Roach, That's right. you're missing out. <laughs> good guy. Good guy. He must not have had a high school gig tonight. He told me that he called some, I believe, some high school today. Oh, did today. he? Earlier yeah. today? Yeah. Yes, sir. Like, I want to talk to you, Brad, but I'm like, do I talk to you? Do I? Oh. Hey, you can talk to me. <laughs> Chavez will bring it up. A little 2-3 zone look here from Grandview. Chavez is a great point guard. Yeah, We've yeah. seen him a couple times this year, and he's done a great Ooh, job, and he's going to shoot an open three. God, he got please. it. They're just, man, they're, they're endless weapons. They're just, they're just endless weapons, man, inside out. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Man. Scoop pass, pass inside. Dry water. Ooh, Good nice hesitation. Move, nice really move. Dry water, tough. Chavez back up the floor, 11-5 Grandview. Chavez might have took a step. Hesitation. Lost it. Got it back inside Crawley. And it's going to be knocked out of bounds. And it's going to stay with Marietta here. 2.05 left here, opening quarter. Got number five checking in here for Marietta. Timeout on the floor. 2.05 left here, opening Man. quarter. Grandview 11, Marietta 5. And you're watching the area, Ori's area championships mm. on CHSN. What you got? Winner, winner plays. The brushy, the mighty brushy Mountaineers. Winner plays the brushy Mountaineers, who were victorious today over Justice Tiowa in a in a just a back and forth great great game. Well, me and Jim Man. were talking about it. We were we were talking about it before the game. You know, we said this one's gonna go down to the wire. So, and of course, your son Yancey Ooh, came up and made some good Yancey big grass, made, made some big free throws there at the end of the ball game he, for, for Brushy. He is a turd. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say about hey, that guy. Hey, he hit him with the count. He hit him <laughs> with the count. Golly! Here we go. Pitcher drives off the glass. Got it. This is press, man. This is press. Ooh, good pressure. And that have a double dribble back there in the backcourt. Good. Yep. Chavez back there and Hitcher. I, I worry about the maturity of Andy all around. Well, you got a lot of eighth graders on all eighth graders on the floor for Marietta. Are they young? Um, I, I don't think so. I think um, I think they're eighth grade. This, the, two, the two studs are in eighth grade for sure. Um, Chavez with another three pointer. Just stay calm, boys. Just stay calm, play the game. Teehee. Going hard, going hard. Ooh, good crossover. Good move, good move. He's all over the place. There you go. Good 
Good handles are by Tihi over to Drywater. Drywater in a drive, float, no good, rebound. Dry, uh, drywater, look at that. Going hard, Drywater going, going to hard. go again. He's going to get fouled on the floor. He's an animal. It'll be on the floor, and it'll be Grandview ball underneath. 101 left here, opening quarter. 11-10, Grandview. Teehee. Dry water. I'm really watching the game. I would be looking over the monitor. It's right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shut oh, off. Funny. Tyus uh -oh. Teehee with the rebound. Gotta They're going to push back. the hitcher. Got to get back. To the bucket. Ooh. Nice defensive Ooh. play there. It's going to be out of bounds off of Grandview. It'll be Marietta basketball. Marietta looks out of sorts, man. They, they, lot, they look out of sorts. A lot of game left, though. You and know how that is. Yeah, they, they need to get in the rhythm, man. I mean, to really – they're just – Going to get travel here. Wow. That's, that's uncharacteristic of Marietta. Dry water. Between the legs. Good defense. Shot's going to be tipped. Ooh. And Drywater comes Chased up. Chased it down. Look at that. 25 seconds. Good pressure. Drywater again attacks. Ooh, good look. Inside. Couldn't hang on to it. 15. 16. Back up the floor, hitcher. Pass inside Tee. What do you got? What do you got? Get a whistle here. We're going to get a foul on Daughtry, number 34 for Grandview. It'll be Marietta basketball here with eight seconds left. Coach Littlefield getting the play in over here. Pass oh, inside. Good seal, good we'll seal. We're going to a foul here on Drywater. Raiders at the line. Going to try to tie it up right here, take the lead with two. First shot on the way, mm. no good. You hate to call a foul a good foul, but it's a close game, man. Missing free throws, I'd call that a good foul. Yeah. Second shot on the way, got it. 11-11, 6.7 left. Let's see if Drywater can get it in here. Good uh -oh. deny defense by Ooh. Marietta. Ooh. And we're going to whistle oh, a foul wow. here. It's only going to be the third team foul. Crawley back in for the Raiders. I don't, I don't get that one. I don't get that one. Dry water. Three seconds. Good look. Nice pass. Good look. Darby can't get it to go. Oh, and that's going to do it for the first quarter. You ride grass. Hey, thanks for Brad, thanks, thanks for, for having me, man. man. We appreciate it. I'll be up there hey, commentating come, in my seat. Come by, come by and say hi sometime. I will. Thanks, right, Brad. Bro. Appreciate it. 11-11, into the first quarter. We thank RCB Bank this evening, proud sponsor of Justice Tiowa Athletics. That's my bank, RCB Bank, and they wish the Wildcats and the Lady Wildcats good luck here at the Ori's area tournament. J&K Dump Trucking and Excavation. If you need rock, gravel, or dirt work, call Jason Copeland at 918-207-8112. That's J&K Dump Truck Service and Excavation. I'm going to give some stats from the girls' game. Grandview was led by Combs with 18 points, seven boards, five steals, and three, three blocks. Page had uh, seven points, three rebounds. Luck had 10 points with three rebounds and four steals. Uh, we also had die had she had one point. Uh, Justice Tywa was led uh, by Van Man. She had a uh, well, she had seven. Gibson had eight. Woody had six. Porky had two. Shellhorn had two. You had uh, Gibson with six boards and Van Man with five. And that's your girl stats. I'm thinking Van Man possibly fouled out in that game. I know she was up ready to come in there late. 
maybe trailing by that much. She didn't, they didn't bring her in. Good pressure here by Chavez. Stolen. Pitcher to the bucket. Got it. 13-11, and now the pressure causing all kinds of problems here for the Chargers. Barnes with the turnover. Pitcher, pump fakes, pull up 15-footer. Got it. Timeout. Grandview. Marietta looking tough here. 15-11, Raiders with the lead, 534 left here, second quarter. You're watching the Ori's Area Tournament on CHSN. The Rustic Pearl Wedding and Event Barn is a beautiful venue hidden in the foothills of the Ozarks. It's a perfect place to have your social, special indoor-outdoor event with a breathtaking and picturesque view. Rustic Pearl is beyond spacious enough to have any event such as weddings, Key and Sarah's, family reunions, business meetings, or anniversaries. 2020 dates are booking fast, so call or text 918-797-4700 for a tour and for more information. Also look us up on Facebook or on our website, rusticpearl.org. How was the pizza? It's good. I think we're pronouncing that wrong or it's spelt wrong. I, say, I think it's Kenton. Kent. Kenton, Sarah, is it not? Andrew, research team, can you get the research team on that? Well, you had it. Okay. I believe you. Kinson Era? I believe you. Grandview basketball. Dry water. Races it up the floor. He's going to get fouled. A lot of these coaches at this age group, Brad, they coach both teams, don't they? Uh, yeah, at these schools, a lot of them do, yeah. Are you referring to Coach Littlefield? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And he does a great job at Marietta. He does an excellent job. Grandview basketball here, 15-11, Marietta with the lead. Dry water, athletic shot, can't get it to go. Ball knocked around, Hitcher comes up with it, and he will travel. Marietta basketball. Good defense there by number five, River Hicks. Into the ball game now for Marietta. Nice defensive play there by Hitcher, knocking it away. And then Tehe will shoot an athletic shot, can't get it to go. Daughtry comes up with it, can't get it. And Hicks will get the rebound. And he will get it over to Chavez, who will just knife his way through traffic and make a great pass to Hitcher, and he will get fouled on the play. And that's going to be on number three, Isaiah Tihi. Wow. I thought that was a block. Looked good, didn't it? <laughs> At the line, hit your first shot is good. Pitcher will get one more. Free throw on the way. No good. Nice rebound in there by number 45, Tyrus Teehee. Eighteen eleven. Barnes in the backcourt. Over to Contreras. Teehee on the drive is going to get fouled on the shot. So Isaiah Teehee will go to the line for Grandview. Number 13 up off the bench. Four killer for Marietta. First shot, good. <laughs> 
Second shot, no good. Rebound, Hicks. Chavez, great ball handler. Hicks with the ball up top. Chavez will set it up. Chavez threw it away. Rarely see him turn the ball over as Drywater will just run his way up the floor. Three-pointer, short, rebound. Four-killer, Chavez. Scoop pass, will be another turnover here. It'll be out of bounds, it'll be Grandview basketball. Edmiston, Edmiston back in the ball game. Zeke Edmiston, number three. Good defense there by Chavez and Hitcher. Get a whistle here and a push on the floor. And it'll be Marietta basketball. Three-pointer, Hitcher, got it. Back up the floor. Going to get a whistle here and a foul. Right, it's so calling it's it out of bounds. It's going to be out of bounds, yep. No foul on the play. Wow. Was out of bounds, it was number 23. A lot of contact there. That was Logan Bilby there, number 23. Lost that out of bounds. Now Marietta will bring it back up the floor. They're going to call a timeout. Timeout on the floor. We'll take one as well. 329 left here, second quarter. Raiders 21, Chargers 12. You're watching the Ori's Area Tournament on CHSN. <laughs> Brushy School is dedicated to providing a strong academic curriculum as well as many extracurricular activities that help provide a variety of experiences while attending our school. Brushy School promotes excellence in all we do, and we would like to, we would like to wish our team luck as they go forward in the Ori's area tournaments. Brushy Rocks. Marietta basketball here, 328 left. Second quarter, Chavez up top. Over to Hitcher. Chavez going to back it out. Run some offense against this Grandview zone here. Edmiston, baseline pass. Hitcher, 12-footer, no good. Edmiston with a heck of a rebound. He's going to get blocked from behind. Second shot, no good. Loose ball, and Drywater is going to be fouled on the play. So number 24, Trenton Drywater. Should go to the foul line here. Shoot a one and one as Grandview is in the bonus. Water at the line. First shot, no good. And he went across the uh, charity stripe, so went across the line there, so it'll be a violation. And it'll be Marietta basketball, number 22 checking in for the Raiders. That's Eric Teehee. Chavez. Edmonston. Rolls up top. He's going to drive into the paint, pumps it, kicks it out. 
Teehee. Chavez to the rim. Nice play, can't finish. Four killer is going to get fouled on the shot. So the number 13, Bryson Four Killer, will go to the line for Marietta. Foul is on Contreras, his first. Fifth team foul on Grandview. Daughtry checks in. Second shot's good. Teehee races his way up the floor. To the rim, can't get it. Four killer with the rebound. Over to Teehee. Short. Might have got deflected there. Good defense. And now Drywater will race up the floor. Teehee on the line. Got it. Two-pointer. Isaiah Teehee. And it's 22-14. Chavez. Four killer gonna get a whistle. Three second violation on Edmiston. Little full court man to man defense here from Marietta as Drywater dribbles right through it into the paint, kicks it out, but he throws it away. Turnover. It'll be Marietta basketball. 22-14, Raiders. Chavez, Keller, Hitcher up top. Triple drive, Edmonston hangs, shot no good. Offensive rebound, and he's going to get fouled in the second shot. Oh, out of bounds. So it's deflected out of bounds off Grandview. Mm-hmm. Hitcher, wide open three, got it. Can't leave him open. Good defense in the backcourt by Hitcher. As he's going to get fouled. Knocked away, dry water. Gonna attack the hoop, off the glass, got it. Nice job there by dry water. Chavez back up the floor for Marietta. Chavez hangs, shot off the glass, no good. Got his own rebound, kicks it out to Hitcher for three, no good. Four killer with the rebound, lost it. Got it back, and will travel. He rolled over a little bit. Yeah. If you're going to get it on the ground, you need to stay. Yeah, you got to stay still. Yep. Barnes will inbound up to Drywater. Drywater, nice pass. Daughtry inside, got it. Grandview keeping it close here. 25-18, Marietta. Chavez in the paint. Going to get it deflected out of bounds. Chavez, ultra quick point guard, but not the tallest guy. So when he goes in there with the bigs, you got to get a quick shot off. Yeah. Excellent passer, though, too, as Chavez is going to get fouled on the floor here. I think it'll be one and one. One and one for Chavez.
First shot is good. Second shot on the way. Got it. And that'll do it for the first half here from Marietta. We got a good one. Boys game. Marietta Raiders 27. Grandview Chargers 18. Stay with us. We'll be back with the second half. After a word from our sponsors, you're watching the Ori's Area Tournament on CHSN. We'd like to thank RCB Bank again this evening. They're a proud supporter of Justice, Tiowa Athletics, and they wish the Lady Wildcats and the Wildcats luck. Ori's Area Tournament. That's RCB Bank. That's my bank. J and K dump truck service and ac excavation. If you need rock, gravel, or dirt, call J and K in Tahlequah, Oklahoma. Jason Copeland, 918-207-8112. That's J and K dump truck service and excavation.
We are back here. Jimbo, you got any halftime stats? Anything we need to discuss here? Nah. Okay. Not really. Okay. We can take care of it after the game. Okay. So it'll be Marietta basketball as we begin the third quarter here. Got a, got a good game, 27-18. Raiders. Chavez with the ball here. Pull up, 16-footer, no good. Rebound, Tihi blocked in there by Drywater. Chavez with a three, no good. Drywater lost it out of bounds. Would be Marietta basketball. Nice look there. Edmondson inside for Marietta with the easy bucket. Dry water. Going to drive and miss, but he will get fouled on the, on the play. Barnes. Teehee. Sharing the basketball here up top. Chavez, very quick hands, gets the steal. What a pass, but Hitcher can't make it. And Contreras with the rebound here. Isaiah Teehee over to Drywater. Knocked away by Chavez. Ball stolen here. Over to Chavez, give pass. Hitcher can't make it. Inside, shot off the glass, up and in. Crawley with the bucket. And it's 31-18, Raiders. The trap here is Edmondson ties him up. Good job, good de job defensively. By number three, Zeke Edmondson. Got a whistle here. Can get a foul on the floor. I believe that's going to be on number one, Crawley. It'll be his first personal. <coughs> Jumper, dry water, got it. 31 20, Raiders. Chavez back up the floor. Pass inside, Teehee off the glass, no good. And it's going to be out of bounds off of Daughtry. He's on the line down there, so it'll be Marietta basketball. Hitcher, three-pointer. Teehee going to get fouled. That'll be on Edmiston. That'll be his fourth, so got to get him out. Drywater gets it in. Barnes pass over the head of Drywater. Hitcher comes up with it ahead to Chavez. Chavez with left hand got it. Potty's at the floor. Oh, Hitcher. Hitcher's down. Hitcher's down, yep. And we'll have a whistle here. I think he rolled his ankle. And we'll get a charge here. Let's see Teehee, Eric Teehee, number 22, up off the bench for Marietta. It'll be Marietta basketball. Short bench down here for Grandview. Yeah, they not got a lot of kids. Nine total. Number 20 checking in. Carter Kelly. And he'll replace Daughtry. 
Chavez walks it up for Marietta. Chavez drives, nice dish, blocked. Nice block there by Drywater. Teehee, Crawley, three-pointer, way off. Drywater with the rebound, and he's going to get fouled. To the disbelief of the crowd here. Man, his shoes look like they weigh 15 pounds apiece. Who's? Drywaters. Look at him when he gets over here close to Look, them things just look heavy. Boy, they turnover. Chavez behind the back. We get a whistle here. I don't know if if Grandview is actually expecting. They they made some passes to areas that there ain't a guy within 25 feet of the, of the area they're throwing the ball to. I don't know if they're. Ex if the guy that's cutting without the ball ain't going to the right spot or, or if they're just misreading it. First shot is good. At the line, number five, River Hicks. And he'll shoot one more. And he misses. Kelly in there with the rebound. But he's going to be tied up. All going to stay with Marietta. Coach, head coach Michael Page over there, not too happy, not pleased. Pass inside, Hicks going to get fouled again, and he's going to go to the line for two more. So River Hicks, number five for Marietta. Get some free throws here. First shot is good. And he gets the second. Drywater brings it across the timeline. Over to Tee Wow. Chavez came flying out of nowhere. That'll be the second personal on Chavez. Drywater attacks. Shot no good. Loose ball. And we're going to get a – looks like it's going to be some – looks like the Grandview – They were fighting over – Looks like Kelly down there was going to be on the baseline. He's going to be out of bounds. It'll be Marietta basketball. 39-20, Marietta. Jim, I, don't, I know they don't do rankings in Ori's, but Marietta, to me, top two or three team in the state in Ori's. Shot up and in for Crawley, and it's good. And he will go to the line for the old-fashioned three-point play. A 23 checking in for Grandview. Logan Bilby. So number 13 in there, Jason Wilder. He's going to have a free throw. He's going to have a lane violation here on Marietta. 41-20, Raiders in control here as Drywater brings it up the floor for Grandview. Wilder, Teehee, three-pointer. No good, long rebound, Teehee. He's going to take a step, though, Tyrus Teehee for Marietta. And he will travel. Drywater pull up, 13-footer, no good. Loose ball, Bilby comes up with it. And it will stay with Grandview here. I wonder if they have a continuous running clock if they get up by 20. No. 
Yes. Yep. Thank you. Do they? Yep. Maybe that's an Ori's. Is that an Ori's rule? Yep. Pass inside. Tee off the glass, and the Raiders are showing why they're. What is it? I see. Till you get to a minute, then they, then they don't do it, Jimbo. Got it? Okay. You got your Ori's basketball rules? Nope. <laughs> Dry water. Isaiah Teehee drives. Going to get fouled on the play. I think that's going to be on number five, River Hicks for Marietta. We'll see number three, Isaiah Teehee at the line for Grandview. First shot no good. Four killer up off the bench for Marietta. He'll check in. Second shot is good for Tihi. Crawley lost it out of bounds, turns it over. That'll be Grandview basketball. Forty-three, twenty-one. Tihi walks it across the timeline. Wilder might have got away with a walk. Four killer lost it. Hicks, Tihi, Eric Tihi, number twenty-two with the bucket for Marietta. Three-pointer. Wilder off. Chavez come over with the rebound, but it's going to be knocked out of bounds by Grandview, by Bilby, number 23. And now we'll get a double dribble here on Hicks as he's turned it over on consecutive plays. He's touched the ball. Not many negatives, though, tonight for Hicks and the, no. and the uh, Raiders as he comes up with a steal. To the bucket, hangs, misses, follow. Chavez, no good. Eric Tihi, no good on the follow. Drywater going to clear it. Five seconds. Got to go if you're Drywater. Got to shoot it. And he will. No good. Into the third quarter here from Marietta Public Schools. Marietta Raiders 45, Grandview Chargers 21. You're watching the Ori's Area Tournament on CHSN. Thank our sponsors or not. I want to thank uh, the Rustic Pearl Wedding and Event Barn. And remember, it's a beautiful venue hidden in the foothills of the Ozarks. If you have a special event, indoor or outdoor, it's the perfect place with breathtaking and picturesque views. And remember, it's spacious enough to have, you can have weddings there, Key and Sarah's, family reunions, business meetings, anniversaries, whatever. 2020 dates, though, are booking fast. So you need to call or text 918-797-4700 for a tour or for more information. And remember, they do have a Facebook page, and you can look them up online at rusticpearl.org. More than, more than 13, I know that. On um, what? Reads. Oh, of, yeah. Of each. At least yeah. close. 
up to 15 or 15 on most of them. I think so. I haven't really been keeping good I, track. I, I kept them or mine. There you go. Yeah, I was keeping track, buddy. I was keeping good track. Wilder with the ball. Stolen. Chavez. Through the bucket. Can't get it. Rebound Eric Teehee. He lost it. Edmonston lost it. Wilder gets it. Going to throw it ahead. Stolen by Teehee. And now Chavez will slow it down, run some clock for Marietta. Seen Chavez play three times this year, and he's every game been a best ball handler on the floor. Got the assist on that one to Teehee. It's a great point guard. Couldn't ask for an eighth grade point guard. Much better than Chavez. Wilder they're going to get away with a walk and then going to get fouled. And Edmonston will go to the bench now. He knows it. He will foul out. Well, if I was him, I'd been, if I was him, I'd been complaining about a travel down there on the baseline <laughs> try to get another minute or two, wouldn't you? I think he was fixing to take them all I out think, anyway. I think he was, too. He burned it, yeah, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> he, might well, he might as well fix it where he can't come back in. <laughs> Coach, don't even look at me no more the rest of the yeah. game. I'm putting my warm-ups on. <laughs> yeah. Wilder at the line, can't get it. Rebound, Marietta. They're going to push it. We're going to go deep on the roster here. Yes. Teehee's still in the ball game, though. Ten, Number 11, Ingram in the ball game. And it's going to be out of bounds. Braden George up off the bench, number 14 for Marietta. He's a seventh grader. He's excited to get in there. He got in there a little bit too quick. Yeah. Who's number 20? Ha Handel? Yep. Jalen Handel. Wilder, three, no good. Going to get fouled. We're going to get a foul here on the rebound. It's going to be on number 33, Jordan Daughtery. First free throw is good. Number 20, Carter Kelly. See if he can get the second. And he doesn't. And now Marietta will push it up the floor. Ingram drives, shoots, got it. Number 11, Case Ingram. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound tipped around. Ingram comes up with it. It's going to be out of bounds. <laughs> that, that I don't, that, I don't that, know about the seats down yeah, there by the court. Yeah, that bench over there, that ain't a, that that ain't a real safe spot. No. No, it's not. Unless you know how to take the charge, that ain't a real good spot. <laughs> but you can't fall backwards in that one. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you're just getting crushed into the rail. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound, Bilby, and he'll bring it up the floor for Grandview. Over to Wilder, Wilder, a wild shot, no good. Loose ball, tipped around, it's going to go into the backcourt here, and Handel will get it and lose the handle out of bounds. One forty-five left here. So, yeah, in Ori's, if you're up by 20, yeah. the clock runs until, uh, until a minute left. Wilder, Bilby pivots. Ball going to get knocked out of bounds off number 10, Cole Grimmett, in the ball game for Marietta. So, Grimmett, Handel, George. Ingram and number 33, Daughtry, in the ballgame for Marietta. Handle over to George. 
I've seen George play a lot, Jim, number 14, seventh grader. Him and Brody's played a lot against each other. He's a good player. His dad's the high school coach at Steelwell, boys coach. Probably going to match up a lot next year in Ori's basketball. Teehee. Wilder with the shot, no good. Backside rebound collected. And George will bring it up the floor. Passes ahead, it's going to be over the head of Wilder, out of bounds. Man, they lose a lot, don't they? They lose their whole team almost. Yeah, they only have three seventh graders. George Handel and Daughtry. Daughtry finishes it. Got it. 52-22, 30-point lead here for Marietta as we're down to 15 seconds left. Wilder, pass inside. Shot up, no good. Rebound by Kelly. He's going to get his ball deflected. Six seconds left. Over to Ingram, and Ingram will walk it up, and Marietta will get the win. Marietta Raiders, Brushy Mountaineers Thursday night for the area championship. Final score, Marietta Raiders 52, Grandview Chargers 22. We'll be back with some stats after a word from our sponsors. You're watching the Ori's Area Tournament on CHSN. RCB Bank is a proud sponsor and supporter of Justice Tiowa Athletics. They wish the Wildcats and the Lady Wildcats good luck in the Ori's Area Tournament. That's RCB Bank. That's my bank. We want to thank J&K Dump Truck Service and Excavation for, our spon for their sponsorship this evening, located in Tahlequah, Oklahoma. You can call Jason Copeland at 918-207-8112. That's J&K Dump Truck Service and Excavation. The Rustic Pearl Wedding and Event Barn is a beautiful venue hidden in the foothills of the Ozarks. It's the perfect place to have your special indoor or outdoor event with a breathtaking and picturesque view. Rustic Pearl is beyond spacious enough to have any event such as weddings, kinseras, family reunions, business meetings, or anniversaries. 2020 dates are booking fast, so call or text 918-797-4700 for a tour and for more information. Also, look them up on Facebook or on their website, rusticpearl.org. And also, we want to thank Brushy School for their uh, sponsorship this evening. Brushy School is dedicated to providing a strong academic curriculum as well as many extracurricular activities that help provide a variety of experiences while attending our school. Brushy School promotes excellence in all we do. We would like to wish our team luck as they go forward in the Ori's Area Tournament. And always remember, Brushy rocks. Jimbo? What, what do you got, buddy? You got some stats for us to see? I evening? sure do got some stats. Uh, you got my pen down there, too? I do. Uh, uh, Grandview was led in scoring by Drywater with uh, 13. Teehee hits had seven. Daughtry had two. Uh, Daughtry had three boards. Uh, just really, uh, what I've seen from Grandview, they just – just not deep enough, you know. I mean, uh, and then uh, Marietta, they were led in scoring by Hitcher. He had 16. Chavez had 12. You had uh, uh, Crowley had four. Edmondson had three. Tehe had four. Hicks had three. Four killer one. Eric Tehe had five. Ingram two, Daughtry two, led in uh, rebounding off the bench. Four killer had five. Hitcher also had four steals. Excellent job, Jimbo. Again, now Thursday evening in the championship, we will have the Brushy Lady Mountaineers taking on the Grandview Lady Chargers. And then the boys game Thursday evening will have the Brushy Mountaineers and the Marietta Raiders and both of those winners will get a trip to the state tournament in Shawnee the following week. So um, Now, that's so, who's in the finals. I mean, yes, that ain't yes, saying we're going to yes. be here. Yes, yes. That's not saying that we're going to be broadcasting. But we yes. will be broadcasting Tuesday night live from, from Sequoia. Sequoia at Sequoia Host Morris. So, join yes. us for that game. 
And um, stay tuned. I mean, we should let you know if we're going to do any more Ori's games. It's possible. I know they've asked about it. So, you know, it's just if we have time <laughs> to do it, it's hard to, uh, for us to find time to do. You know, we all work regular jobs, too. So, Well, yeah, when you're having, you know, I I if these games were right there at home at Southsaw, it would be a big different story. But, you know, when, when you got basketball games, when they tip an hour before a football game kicks off, you know, it's hard for us to make them. Hey, know? the only thing for, for us, though, here is I'll be here Thursday night anyway. Well, that's true. You'd be so. taking off. <laughs> Again, congratulations, Marietta. They advanced to the championship tonight. We are, we are glad. We are, we, we, we're thankful for all of our viewers we've had this evening. Enjoyed um, it. We enjoyed it. We enjoyed doing the junior high broadcast. The Ori's tournament is great. Um, I, and we've had people commenting on our, on our feed saying, you know, come do the Briggs games. You know, Briggs plays Thursday night. Boys and girls, come do those. Well, you know, it, we could, we'd it's love not, to do it. It's not about us going and doing a game, Brad. We, right. we, right. we have to have sponsorship. We have to have sponsorship yes. first and um, to, for, to be able to do it. But, but we, we enjoy doing it. So, you know, guys get us some sponsorship and we'll, we'll do our best to get oh, there we'll, if, we'll, if we have time. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do what we got to do. So good job tonight by, by the crew. Terry, Terry Qualls was on the camera. Does an excellent job up there. Um, uh, he does all right. He does, he does a good job. He does all right. Andrew Newberry, our technical does director slash producer slash internet <laughs> ISP technician. Um, good job tonight, Andrew. Jim Alderson, as always, good job, buddy. For the crew, I'm Brad Cameron. We will see you guys Tuesday evening. We'll be at Sequoia High School. Everyone have a good rest of your weekend. We'll see you Tuesday. <laughs>